All right, it's time. All right, wow, we already got some people in here. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, tonight we are going to be talking about hats, and I've got hats on hats on hat. I've got a box of hats. I've got a. I've got this whole table full of hats. I've got. I've got a box full of hats over here. So it's it's we're just, it's going to be like completely just like about hats. <laughs> um, now, I'm not the. I'm not the the uh, hat expert, okay? I know a lot about hats. I don't know everything about hats, but I research. I look things up, and I, that's what we can do with everything. We can, you know, to get into a category, you just want to, like, immerse yourself in it. And, uh, <laughs> uh, hey, Tommy. We got Tommy. We got Tracy. We got my brother Michael in here. We got Kent. Uh, Kent with the, the nice comment to start us off with. Um, but uh, it... I want to do this hat video. I did the I did the vintage T-shirts video that one night. Um, now I'm not gonna be. Do, I may move around a little bit, but I'm surrounded. Like if you could see this, let's 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 see. A, I'm surrounded by hats. I, I don't know if you can see that, but <laughs> there's there's stuff everywhere. So um, so there, there, there may be a little whirly burden, but uh, but maybe maybe not a lot. But uh, I wanted to go. I wanted to show some things that I picked up today um i picked up my shoes i picked up some shoes from goodwill they had a really good i wanted to show those first and then they had hats i, I already planned to do this hat video and then i came across a score of hats oh yeah bro yeah that, that we're, we're gonna be showing that one a little bit later right <laughs> i dude i got every i got like every single hat known to man almost um uh but uh I just wanted to take y'all through some of the stuff I got. I want to get the shoes out of the way, but I, I picked up some cool, cool shoes. Um, I got the bag right here. Picked up these LL Bean men's like hiking boots. Really cool. They've got the, uh, they're like Sherpa lined. So uh, really cool boots. Uh, these were uh, $4.99. So did well with those. Um, I picked up these, kind. they're, they're, they're kind of roached a little bit, but they, these uh, 993s, these New Balance 993s, these are, uh, kind of hard to find so uh pick those up those are uh i mean these these were those were 5.99 and i might have a potential buyer for these already so um picked up these uh cool doc martin slip-ons right here uh these were 4.99 I, I don't think they, i don't think they knew that they were uh that they were uh doc martin's so that was really cool uh picked up those what else do we? And I think I got a couple more pair, pairs of shoes, uh, a couple Merrill pa pairs of Merrells. Got these Merrill sneakers for uh, what was it was at three ninety nine, and then uh, and then I got these like cool like uh these other Merrells, these like leather Merrells, and these were these were only four ninety nine, so uh, that was a uh, really cool. Oh yeah, thank. Oh, we got Jody in the house. We got the mother's mustache. We got NASCAR man. What's going on? Uh, yes, um, in my title, I just hit 500, 500 sales on Grailed. Uh, so that was really cool. Uh, really excited about that. Um, that's been, you know, now that that's a slower platform. You know, yeah, 500 sales on eBay. I mean, you can hit it like that. But, you know, to, to be a 500 seller on on uh, Grailed, I mean, that's that's fantastic. Uh, I'm, re I'm really pumped about that. And I took a snapshot of it to put on my Instagram. And I, I'm still gonna put it on there, but uh, I had two more sales on Grail today too. So I'm like, I'm at 502 officially. So uh, pumped about that. It's a it's a good platform. Um, Poshmark is. Uh, I've had some sales on Poshmark. I've had a few sales on Depop. So all these all these things are coming around, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. Uh, I was talking to my brother last night. Um, let's see, curious 500 sales. How long? Uh, about over a year, over a year on Grailed, and 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 that's just starting. You know, I started out with my Grail with you know 50 items for like four or five months, and then I, I exploded on it. Um, so uh, you know, I, about a about a year going, you know, about with uh, about four to five hundred listings on Grailed. So, um, but yeah, that was good. Uh, here's some. Okay, so. Like I said, this was the this was the hat video today. I already planned it, so I went by Goodwill and I was like, "All right, they got hats." So I picked up this. Uh, you know, you can't go wrong with polo for uh, two bucks. You know, it's got the nice 
polo Ralph Lauren tag, small pony, little beige dad hat style. So I picked that up. Um, what else did I pick up? Uh, I picked now. I usually don't pick up a lot of West Virginia stuff, but this was Nike. This is a Nike golf dry fit. So it had like Mountaineer Maniacs on it. So this will definitely uh, sell around here. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, and then I got a couple of, uh, these were really cool. They were just putting these out as I came by. Um, some old school Rusty Wallace NASCAR hats. So, uh, and that's that, that's that MGD right there. And then, and then she was putting out another one had MGD on the front and then Rusty on the back. So those should do well as well, do well as well. Mel, what's up? What's going on? Thanks for checking us out. And then, then I was like, oh, it, it's, it's funny. I was just talking to my buddy. He was interested in, you know, reselling, or he was just kind of interested in hearing my resell story. And uh, I said he, he was wearing a hat, and I said, hey, how much did you how much did you buy that hat for? He's like, oh, bro, this was like twenty five, thirty bucks. I'm like, see, I find those for like two, three dollars. He's like, really? And uh, yeah, I got a little Patagonia action. So uh, found that. That's a, that's a good score. And the Patagonia was 99 cents. So definitely, definitely, definitely a score on there. Uh, this one's legit. It's got all the, it's got the tags and everything in there. So I was pumped to find that. Um, if you see Patagonia hats, they always sell well. Uh, so uh, definitely uh, pick those up. So, <laughs> all right. So uh, I want to jump in here. This is going to be like a free for all. So if you got any questions, just ask, I'm going to be going over, you know, different hats, different, you know, different things I have in my kind of hat death pile. Um, but if you have any hats, uh, that you, you know, you want to know about, just, just type a, type a question in the comment and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll see if I can, yeah, we're going to, we're going to dive on into this. So we're going to dive into this, uh, big stack right here. Um, First and foremost, we're gonna, I'm going to show you some bolos. Uh, definitely things that sell on eBay. Uh, now, now some things, some things sell on eBay. Some things sell on Grailed. Some things sell on Depop. You just like we talked about with our vintage shirts. It's all about your demographic. Hey, Stacy, how we doing? Stacy's here from Texas, so I'm gonna be in. I'm actually gonna be in Texas. Um, we're gonna be in Austin on Saturday, this, this coming up Saturday. So I'll be, I'll be up in Austin. I, I'm going to a, uh, my aunt ha is having a wedding. So she's having it around the Austin, about an hour outside of Austin, but me and my brother are going to, uh, on Saturday, we're going to, after the, they're, they're having like an early wedding. So we're going to shoot up to, uh, we're going to shoot. <laughs> NASCAR man says I have 120 hats for sale for 200 of interest in. bro. I've got 500 around me right now. Maybe if I get these all listed, we can do that. So, um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm always definitely interested in hats. Um, but like, like getting back to what I was saying, oh yeah, we're going to be in Austin on Saturday. Probably we're going to be, uh, weddings will be done around one o'clock and one, like noon, one o'clock. And we're going to be shooting up, um, towards Austin, hitting up some thrift shops. Now, since I'm flying, I'm, I can't like, you know, buy a whole bunch of stuff and I'm going to be spending some money on Thursday. I don't know if you have heard or not. Um, this is the totally make a long story short, like Grillin would say, um, you know, there's a, there's a, uh, a concert that or, or a tour that just got released today. Rage against the machine with run the jewels. Um, I saw rage against the machine in Houston, like 20 years ago. I'm definitely buying tickets. I don't care what they cost. So yeah, Definitely. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I think I've met all my cousins and everything like that. <laughs> That's funny though. Um, but let's jump on in. First hat I want to show you. Okay, caterpillar cat. If you see these out in the wild, pick these up. No matter what kind of condition uh, you see these in, um, this one's this one's a little you know has seen better days, but these still do sell. Yeah, dude. I, oh, yeah, brother. I got. I got a rage. I got. I got a rage hat somewhere. It's buried in this pile. But I. But um. What I like to do now. What we're gonna do is. And now don't be. I've, 
what I like to do, we're going to try on all the hats. We're going to try on every single hat. So, boom, we got that cat hat. Okay, see the fit right there. All right. Um, this is made by Tonkin right here. If you see that, Tonkin up here. Uh, made in the USA. Uh, size fits most. And then on the back, you can see Tonkin. So, things that you're going to look for in, when you're buying hats, you're going to look at the tag. And you're going to look at, and then you're going to look at the back side here because sometimes you're going to find information on here. Okay. Um, now, not all hats are created equal. Not all hats are, you know, from the same era. There's, there's so many things, you know, with hats. It's not easy, like, you know, sometimes with your vintage clothing, um, like a, like a uh, single stitch, you know, that's going to be for the night, you know, all that 90s stuff. Hats are a little bit different. You just got to go by the feel, the look, the style, and understanding who you're selling to. Now, something like this, this is going to go to a collector. So this will do pretty good on eBay. I'm showing you a banger from the beginning. Uh, this will this will do really well on eBay because it has that that cat pat that caterpillar patch. Um, pe you know, people collect these things. So uh, definitely going on eBay. Uh, I'm just going to throw this. <laughs> I've got so much stuff over here, but, um, but there's other things too, like these old novelty hats right here. This says, uh, my daddy was a pistol, but I'm a son of a gun people. Now the thing is I've sold a lot of these on grailed. Okay. A lot of these style on grailed now tag. You can't even, you don't even see, uh, you know what this is. Drew, what's up? The crazy card. What's going on? Hey, how's it going? Um, you can't even see what it is, but the characteristics of the hat is going to definitely tell you kind of the age of it. And that's where, you know, you're not, none of these hats have dates. So you're just going to have to guess. Now, if I had a guess, this is going to go up as vintage eighties. Cause this is definitely an 80s style hat. Uh, you know, like the mesh and everything like that. Uh, yeah, definitely on grilled drew. We, I was already hitting that. Um, you know, that this is, this is something that, you know, you're, you're going to, you know, a, a skater kid, young, young kid, they're going to, they're going to dig this. They're going to be like, yo, I'm going to wear this, you know, I'm going to flex on this. There we go. Cool. It's all about a lot of this stuff. And, and, I, and I, you'll hear me say this over and over and over again, the uniqueness of the, the, the hats, the more unique, the more kind of, you know, the more attention it's going to get uh, on grailed or Depop. It's just got to stand out where it's like, Yo, I want that. I got to have that. It's going to, it's going to match, you know, maybe a shirt I have, or it's just going to complete a look, whatever look they're going for. And right now trucker hats are super hot. Uh, su they, they've been hot for like the last five years. Um, so don't, you know, don't, uh, don't sleep on the old, uh, trucker hats. Um, I'll get to in a minute, uh, what, what I was talking about with my brother last night. A lot of people think that, <laughs> there's a real lack of passion here, right? <laughs> right, Tracy? Uh, yeah, the, the, I'm, I'm lacking in my... But, uh, like, now here's another here's another style hat. Um, but you got all kinds of hat. Now, this is... This, these are kind of one of my favorite type of hats. The corduroy hat. The corduroy roped hat. And this one says... Speed Weeks 1989 Daytona. So this has got, you know, definitely like NASCAR, that old school, you know, uh, that 80s style, you know, roped right here. Oh, I, I am, I'm, I'm chugging a little uptime, uh, better than Red Bull, better than Monster, better than whatever y'all, whatever the cool kids are drinking. This is, this is the up and coming. This is kind of like a, it's more of like an energy seltzer. So yeah, <laughs> it's, it, it, it's good. I, I like it. It gives you a, it definitely gives you a pep. Um, let's see. But some of these hats now, don't be worried about what I call the, the, the pancake hat. Okay. You find the hat and it's all pancaked. Okay. You can, you can get this, you can get this back to life. Okay. Getting a balloon, getting a, getting like a, a like some uh, styrofoam, like a styrofoam, like half sphere or even like some bubble wrap. Um, and then actually, you know, what I've been doing too 
is I've been steaming some of this uh, right here to kind of straighten it out a little bit more. So, uh, you know, don't be afraid with that. Again, here's another thing. You know, if you see on the bill right here, it says made in the, or the, the uh, snapback right here, made in the USA, a definite sign that it's vintage. So, <laughs> yeah, no, Star City Picker. No, this is, this is a, I think this is legal in like four states, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, a definite sign. But that, that mesh, don't worry about the foam not being there. I sell, I sell, um, I sell hats without the foam all day. Uh, another thing too, uh, now some of these hats have like a, like, you know, like the mesh is inside here. So sometimes if you cut like this little area right here with like a little knife or like a little pair of scissors, you can take, then you can take your vacuum cleaner and you can just suck all that nasty dry foam out of there. So yes, Tim, it's the white claw of energy drinks. That's a perfect example. <laughs> so, uh, we got that, um, anything with like old truck stuff on it de definitely does well. This would be something that would do well on eBay. This is international trucking. Grimes Truck Center, Frederick, Maryland. I mean, it's got all the definite looks of a vintage 80s trucker hat. I mean, look at that, look at that mesh right there. Beautiful foam. This one's really nice. Now, a lot of times you can find these hats. Yeah. <laughs> Just vacuum the foam right on out. Um, a lot of times you can find these hats in pristine condition because a lot of these style hats were given to your dad, were given to your grandpa. Basically, like, you know, I always, I always uh, use a, a story about my dad. Uh, his name is Frankie. He, we would always go to this uh, local hardware store, and they'd be like, hey, Frankie, what's going on? And he'd be like, you know, you'd chat with them. Hey, uh, so-and-so, you know, uh, Yellow Lumber got, you know, brought in some hats. You know, you want one of those? Yeah, you know, like, and they would just, like, you know, give them out to, like, good customers. Or things like that. So, but they would never, a lot of times they would get so many hats, they would never wear them. So they would just store them away. Um, and a lot of times I'll, I'll make, I'll tell a long, little long story. A lot of times these are stored away. And sometimes, you know, after they, you know, the, the grandfather, or the dad passes away, you know, what happens to the hats? You know, there's, they're still stored in the attic, a bathroom closet. I was at this um, garage sale one time and, I was, I, I said, uh, I was, I was telling, uh, and I was looking around and, th and they were saying, Oh, you know, do you, do you, uh, buy anything in particular? And I said, yes, I do. And I would, and, and I kind of learned this. I did this early on, but I I've learned this always ask at garage sales. And I said, you know what? I collect hats. I collect the old grandpa hats, you know, the, the mesh, the foam, you know, things that they wore in the eighties. And, uh, the, the old lady said, you know what? We got a whole box of them in in the uh in the bathroom attic she said would you be interested in taking a look at them and i said yes so she sent up she sent up uh, a couple of her, of her nephews they go they go into the house and it was the it was actually this box right here i still have the box it was this box right here okay they bring out they bring out this huge box and all these hats are lined up just perfectly all these hats are lined up perfectly. And uh, I just start looking through them. I'm like, right away, I'm like, yo, this is, this is, this, I'm, I want all of this. So she's like, well, do you see anything you like? I'm like, yes. And she's like, what do you, you know, what do you want to buy? I said, I want all of it. And so, um, so she said, uh, well, I said, well, how much do you want for the whole box? And she, and she looked at me with these like puppy dog eyes and she said, you know, I really like twenty dollars for this box of uh, hats. I couldn't get the twenty dollar bill out of my pocket fast enough. Okay, so I basically bought, you know, in my terms, you know, there, I, after counting, there was two hundred and fifty hats. You know, if I sell those for ten bucks a piece, that's twenty five hundred dollars. So on the low end, uh, so uh, and I've I've sold a lot of those hats, and that was about like two years ago. I've sold a lot of those hats, so. Uh, let me hit. I, I saw the chat going a little wild uh, while I was going. Um, I, I saw a question from uh, Tim. Oh, how do we price them though? All right, <clears throat> pricing is all subjective. Okay, it's now you can look for your 
you can look for comps all day, but a lot of, you know, a lot of these older hats, a lot of the local stuff, you're not really going to find, you know, you're not really going to find, you know, the exact hat for sale. You, I mean, you might, but what I always do is I, I'm always like, you know what? I'm going to, I've set kind of a comp myself to where like, I've got so many of these hats where it's going to be from 20, 30, 40, $50 range. Okay. Now, if I have something that I know that's like rare and worth something, and you know, like that cat hat I showed you earlier, I'll, you know, I'll price that accordingly. But a lot of the stuff, you know, it's fashion, it's clothing, it's, it's, it's accessories. So you're going to price it as an accessory, 20, 30, $40, you know, just depending on the rarity, depending on kind of the subject matter and what it is. So, uh, I saw Stacy said you got so many feed store hats from Bandera, Texas. Yeah. Those sell really, really well as well. You know, like the old, and I'll show you this right here. Uh, old seed company hats, stuff like this. Don't pass it up. Don't pass it up. This stuff sells. I've sold a lot of stuff like this on eBay. Um, because, because of a couple of the brands that are out there, uh, that are very, very popular that people look for on eBay. And I'll probably go over that right now, but let me just go through some of the, some more of the chat and everything. Just, to... <laughs> let's see. All right, Bill, what's going on? How we do? <laughs> Deep fried deals. What's going on? How we doing? Yeah, Jody. Yeah. You know, you want to get, you want to, you want to, you know, when you're buying hats and we'll kind of talk about that when you're buying hats, you want to get them in that, you want to get them in that 25 cent to $2, um, to, to that $2 area. Now, when you're starting to pay like three, four, five dollars $5 a hat, then you got to really do your research. You really got to kind of, you know, know what you're looking for, know what, you know, know what you're you're looking at um so i always say like try to stick try to stick into that uh you know from 25 you know from from free to two dollars how about that free to two dollars um yeah bill he, he says he likes finding uh old mesh k product farm hats now that now we're gonna enter our first bolo and this is our our major bolo that you want to you know you want to look at if you see that right there, K products. Okay. You see that sometimes they'll have it inside, you know, on a tag, but a lot of the old school ones will have it on the snapback band right there. K products. It's going to say made in USA, orange city, Iowa, and then maybe have a phone number. Okay. And so like your, your, your three things you want to look for your, your, your K products hat is the K products, the mesh, and the patch. So patch, mesh, K products means you have a pretty good hat to sell. Um, so I've got a, I've got a bunch of these uh, now, depending on what it is though, depending on, you know, what, you know, what the, what the patch is that determines kind of like the value. Now you can definitely look at, you can definitely look at, um, you know, comp these always K products hats, always comp them. If you come across, if you come across, write this down. If you come across a John Deere, okay, like the tractors, the lawnmowers, John Deere, D-E-E-R-E, -E -E, K products, made in the USA, stop in your tracks and buy that, okay? Stop and buy that hat. Now, now I said, you know, free to $2, that's when you can kind of go out of your comfort level and maybe f spend five to ten dollars for that one hat so yes bill that is right not all k products sell high okay that's why I, that's what if you were listening that's why i said you know do your research see what but if you can get them on the cheap pick them up okay because a lot of times they have rare stuff that you can't comp okay and then you can set it you know like hey this hat may you know thirty dollars now like bill real probably knows a lot of this stuff you know some of these hats are going for 150, 200, 250, 300 dollars. Okay. 
Now, not every K product is going to be like that. That's why you got to do your research. But definitely pick these up because they're definitely, you know, if you're picking up for 25 cents to a dollar, they're definitely in that 20 to $30 range anyway. So sometimes they take a little bit longer to sell, but they're definitely in that range. Here's another K products right here too. You can see that if you couldn't see that on that yellow. Okay. You'll see that nice K. Okay. There we go. Yes. Uh, Stacy. Yes. The DeKalb corn. Yes. Those sell very, very fast. I I've come across uh, a few of those as well. Um, and yes, those do sell fast. Um, Jody was talking about Gore-Tex. A lot of times, Gore I, I, I haven't seen a lot of Gore-Tex hats either. I think that's more just like for clothing and and, and things like that. So, um, yeah. And Jason, too. A lot of them go a lot of them go overseas. You have a lot of overseas buyers, especially in the Philippines and especially in like Thailand and stuff. Yeah, Bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, if it's yeah, if it's five bucks or less, it's a def, it's a definite pickup on that. Um, but yeah, I mean old 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 Pepsi stuff, old Coca Cola stuff, old you know liquor, beer, definitely pick it up. Um, you know, always look inside. You know, tag made in the USA. Now I'll say this one. You know, this one's not going to be '80s. Just kind of by the you know the the look, the handling. I've handled these so much. You know, this is going to be definitely. Um, you know, early nineties. So yeah, prop departments, they buy them, you know, a lot. Of, and I'm, the reason I'm doing this video is this is a lot of things that people pass up, you know, especially at garage sales, especially at their, at their flea markets, especially at their, um, you know, garage sales and, and goodwills, you know, they pass them up, you know, and those people are, uh, throwing them away, you know, because they, 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 a lot of people don't think they have value. And that kind of brings me to my, my next tip, you know, not every hat's going to sell, not, not every hat's going to sell, but if you get enough of them, okay. So say, you, say you come across, you know, 20 hats for five bucks. That's a great deal because you know what, you're going to sell one for 15, $20 and everything's profit after that. So that's the way you've got to take, take a look at that. So um, Jason says, I picked up vintage military camel hats with Gore-Tex as well. Stuff like Bass Pro Shops, new hats with, yeah, new hats with Gore-Tex. I, I haven't run across a lot of that stuff. I, it might be a newer type thing. I'm, I'm more into that, that, that eighties, that, that, that vintage eighties, uh, type trucker hat. Those, that, that, that gets me excited. So, um, let's go through some more. We're going to be looking at hats. I think I'm going to show you this one. Now, I'll show you Heartbreak, too. Now, here's what a Scanada, okay, K Products hat with it broken. Look at that. <laughs> I got K Products broke. All right. Um, I, I bought it this way, thinking maybe I'll repair it or something like that. Who knows? It just came in the... It came in, it came into the, the lot, but you know, uh, you know, stuff like this too. Now, if you see that high brimmed, you know, that, that this roped hat, you know, these are definitely from like the, the late eighties, early nineties. Always look for that. Just kind of like that hang tag right there. Um, you can see that right there. Um, now, now, not all of them have to be made in the United States. Uh, yes, Michael, that is true. I was just gonna, I was just gonna talk about that, but I went on a tangent. This is all about tangents now. Um, K brand, you'll find some K brand hats. Those are the same as K products. Okay, we looked it up last night. Uh, K brand and K products are the same company. They read, they actually registered. K brand right before they did K products. Uh, so yes, thank you, Michael, uh, for jogging my memory. I'll come across that somewhere. Um, but yeah, you know, just picking up stuff like this, you know, cutter gold. This is a uh, ear tags for cows, you know, Stacy, I will be hitting you up about that easy fix on that. Um, 
But, the, but here's a, here's a great here's a great point. You know, with this hat. Okay, this hat, it's all floppy and everything like that. But again, this is something on Grailed that someone's gonna go, yo, I want to buy this because I'm a hipster. I'm gonna flip it up. You know, I'm gonna be like wearing it like this. Out, it's Fanco. No one knows what that is. I'm ironic. Boom! You just sold a fifteen dollar hat. You didn't have to do any research. You just do vintage '80s Fanco. Take some nice pictures of it. Pop it. Pop it into your grailed and be done. So. All right, bargain shop. If I start looking for men's hats, <laughs> you're in trouble. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, old military stuff like this. Uh, you know, you can see the made in the USA right there. Uh, you know, Marine that have the big patch. A lot of these now, um, they're, they don't have the patches anymore. They, they're just embroidered onto the hat. Uh, so that's something that's a little bit different. Uh, so definitely if you see these with this big wide patch, that's something you're going to pick up. So yeah, I'm, I love modeling inventory. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, look at that. You know, someone's going to be modeling that. Okay. No, I don't have any yarmulkes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't run across that often. Um, just stuff like this too. Um, you know, find an, find an old school, like touristy stuff. Crater Lake. This is in Oregon. Um, you know, pick this stuff up, you know, someone that's in Oregon or they, they may dig this, you know, so pick it up. It's vintage. It's something that they're going to like, you can't make when you're buying it cheap enough, you're not going to make, you're not going to make bad decisions. Okay. If one doesn't sell, who cares on to the next, if you sell one at, like I said, if you sell one out of that lot, um, if you sell one out of that lot, you're going to make up for everything. So let's see, but listed for 30, not 15. Okay. I don't, I don't know what he's talking about there. So, but yeah, no, you, you just, you just set your prices, whatever you're comfortable with. I've seen, I, I've, and I'll show y'all here. Let me, let me, let me screen. You know what? Well, yeah, different, all different stuff sells. It's all across the board. I'm going to pop this up so you can t take a look at um, what I'm talking about. Okay, so check out this. Check out this vintage 80s. It's got snorkel cranes on it. Sold 15 bucks. Okay, now this hat was in not good condition. Well, look at that. All that foam right there. I left it in there. Deteriorated. Nasty. Sold it for 15 bucks. Okay, that, that was one I got out of a huge lot. Um, yeah, there's five, 502 transactions. Let this load up real quick. I'll show you some other sales I had for hats, you know, just random stuff right here. This hat first sold for $24 shipping included. Okay. J and G electric quality is no accident. I mean, look at that. It, they're buying it for the look. They're buying it for the look. Nothing special about it. Got a cool patch. They're like I said, they're buying it for the look. All right, let's let's go here. Oh, why don't I here? Let me do this. What else I got? Um, oh, you want to see a two hundred fifty dollars Selena T-shirt? There you go, right there. Um, here we go. Take take a look at this one. Cessna Brothers. This roped '90s hat, twenty dollars. Okay. Uh, you want to see a $332 jacket right there? There you go. Boom. Patron Cafe hat, $20. All right. Uh, lift, yeah, lift forklifts hat, trucker hat, $22. Okay. Oh, here's another $180 jacket. Ooh, by, oh, by the way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Schrader's uh, giant tire specialist trucker hat, $19. Okay. So, you, you see what I'm saying? You're making, you, you know, you're making fifteen, twenty dollars on these hats, just because it's, it might be a look someone's going for, might be something cool. Look, uh, we got, oh, we got uh, our largest RV in Richmond, Indiana. Now I, I twelve dollars, but you know what? Get blow through it. Fifteen dollars for PGA Tour hat. Um, fifteen dollars for a 
uh, vintage deer scene uh, hunting hat. You know, all right, let's let that load. Let's let's get some more hats. Oh, I picked up. Uh, now nah, I see. I picked up this Dragon Ball Z hat, but I got that for two dollars at a thrift shop. It was brand new with tags, twenty five dollars. So you can kind of see the stuff that that's that's selling, you know. All right, let me let me uh, let me pop back up in these. Uh, let, let, let me pop back up in the chat, you know, saying since I had a I had to flex the grail on y'all. Yeah, summer long tail, bro. That's why. Look, yeah. All right, hold on. Let's let's go back here. <laughs> Damn, the, the chat's on fire. Yeah, different stuff. Stales, Empire. I always pick up fifty nine fifty hats. Yes, uh, new era. We're gonna. I'm a. Again, I got so much stuff. I, I'm a. We're gonna dive into that. Um, definitely new era. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that one looked wrecked, but it's still sold, bro. Um, yes, hipsters have disposable, they'll pay more than what it's worth. Yes, absolutely. You got to know your, you got to know your market bargain, uh, bargain shopping, even ones made in China, uh, China, but I always like the ones, the older ones are usually made in like Taiwan, Bangladesh and the Philippines. Uh, so definitely kind of look out for that. Uh, Market is flooded, blah, blah, blah. Hey, I always say like this too. You know what I'm saying? If you're picking them up for, for you know, pennies on the dollar and, you know, you're looking for different markets, they may be flooded on eBay, but they ain't flooded on Grail and they ain't flooded on Depop. So, you know, I always say cross list your stuff. Get it in front of as many eyeballs as you can. Yes, Krillin and I love short stories. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Bill, you just listed it as destroyed. Exactly. See, you know what's up. You know what I'm saying? Is it possible to cross post from Poshmark to Grailed? Is that the quick and easy? Uh, I've actually heard you don't want to go from Poshmark to anything for, uh, using list perfectly, but I think you can. But yeah, you definitely need to get on Grailed. But it takes like, it, it takes minutes. So, man, I'm behind on this. So, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Suit with matching shorts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jody. Yeah, definitely. Definitely you want to get on Grailed. Um, now, we're talking about sports hats. You know, your old vintage stuff. This stuff sells. Okay. Um, I mean, old Super Bowl stuff sells. Uh, you know, if you can find, you know, now this one's going to, this one's going to be, uh, you know, soaked and reshaped. Um, but yeah, wait, Tom, yeah, Tommy says you can, but they don't suggest going from Posh to eBay doing a picture enlargement. Exactly. Exactly. So I always like to do eBay to everything, uh, eBay, and then I'll cross those to eBay to Grail, to eBay to Poshmark, eBay to Depop, just so I'd like to do it where I can do like 10 at a time on each platform. So, um, now the one thing. The one thing now about new era, and we'll talk about. Man, I wish I, I wish I would organize a little bit better, because I, I, I had a new era hat somewhere. Uh, we'll come across them. <laughs> All right. So some of your your older new era hats, uh, they don't make, um, they don't make new era hats in the in the United States anymore, except for Major League Baseball. You you cannot buy now. Correct me if I'm wrong. The last the last time I've heard, you cannot uh, buy a made in the U USA new uh, new era hat in its like in its current like you know new new style hat. They they only make them for the baseball players and coaches and stuff like that, um, and like people on the team. But what you want to do for your new era. You know, if you get you, you have a new era hat, the older hats you flip it, and you want to and you want to see sometimes you know now this one is made in the USA and the hundred percent wool the hundred percent wool ones I've had really good luck on them. Now, 
just depends on what hat you have. You, you know, some people were saying the market's flooded and blah, blah, blah. Just depends on what team you have. You know, do the research, know what you got. But if you're spending 25 cents on a hat and you're going to sell it for 25, why not? You're going to take six pictures of it. You're going to throw it in a box. You're going to ship it to them and you're going to be done with it. Okay. Um, and it, they're easy to list. You set up a template and, and you're done. So that's the, that's the new era. You know, I got, you know, I got so, I've got so many hats. We got, we got some military hats. We got Wicker's Lumber from Kentucky. I love stuff like this. Uh, definitely like Ford, old, like old Fords and Chevy stuff sells, especially like stuff that says like, this is a dealership. Ted Emery, don't sell no ugly trucks. Okay. That's that. Now this has got that late eighties, mid nineties, that, that roped trucker hat look. Okay you know, made in the USA right there. So this was, this had all the signs of like, you know what? I'm going to buy that. Um, you know, again, like this, this wickers lumber, Th these things, these are like the perfect, I love stuff like this. Okay. Now we got, first we got made in the USA. We got the mesh. We got the patch. Okay. So definitely, definitely eighties right here. Okay. All day. All right. Made in the USA patch. And your mesh, a lot of, a lot of, uh, now the, the, the patch is coming back as, you know, being popular, but the, you know, if you're finding something like this, this is definitely, you know, eighties. Oh, bro. I can, I can, I have enough hats to probably wear it for the year. You know what I'm saying? But look, you know, now one of the things that, one of the things that, uh, we're going to, we're going to take a little story break. One of the things that uh, you may want to do, okay, to get some hats, to get started with some hats, instead of having to go buy them, go search for them, have them come to you. Create a Facebook ad, okay. Um, and if you need some, if you need some pictures, just just text, just hit me up on my Instagram, DM me, and say, or text me and say, Chris, I need some. Uh, I need some pictures of some hats to put this ad together. And you say, Hey, you know, I'm looking for the old grandpa trucker hats, you know, to kind of depending on where you're at, you know, put it like, Hey, Hey, I buy these. I collect these. What, what is it called again? Oh, it's called, uh, uptime. This one's the, uh, p uh white peach lemonade. So very delicious <laughs> uptime. <laughs> I should be, I, I, this is my sponsor link where it comes like down at the bottom and everything. This, this segment, this, this trucker hat segment is sponsored by uptime. The white claw of energy drinks. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So put it on, you know, get it, get into some of your groups, get in some of your community groups, get in your buy, sell trade groups and say like, Hey, I'm looking for, your grandpa's foam mesh hats. I'm a collector. You know, I, I buy collections of these and let them come to you. Okay. You know, if they, if they shoot you some pictures and you see, you know, stuff, you know, they're going to, they're going to want to, most likely they're going to want to get rid of this stuff. Okay. They don't want it. They don't want this stuff in their house anymore. Okay. They, they don't think it's worth anything. So that's where you're picking it up for, you know, pennies on the dollar. Okay. All right. Next hat. So that's, that's a really cool hat. I like that one. Um, this one's, you know, you, you find stuff like this. Now there's different, you know, this is sand sun. Okay. Sand sun made in Sri Lanka. Okay. Again, a lot of these aren't made in China. Okay. You're, you're getting Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, uh, Korea, Philippines. Okay. And this one says, Gone fishing with the Lord. I mean, come on. You know this is going to sell. All right? So we're gone fishing with the Lord. We're done with that one. All right? Uh, I love stuff like this too, okay? Uh, here's another brand, you know, 80s brand called Designer Pro. All right? You're going to want to look for that label right there. Okay? You're going to see that label right there, Designer Pro. That's got 80s written all over it. This one says, over the hill and ready to roll, okay? You know that that's a this is a grandpa hat, okay? This is a grandpa. This is the 
you know, your grandpa turning 50, right? Rocking it out, all right? So, done with that. Um, Cobra, another brand you want to look for, okay? Again, something dumb. It's something dumb. It's something hipster. Sage has got a teaching owl, you know? Someone, someone's going to be like, yo, I want that. I'm going to, you know, my, 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 my daughter's name is Sage. I'm going to wear that. Boom, done. So, <laughs> Here's another Wicker's Lumber, uh, another Bolo brand right here, Auto Cap right there, Auto. You see that? Looking for that, okay? So we got the Wicker, we got another Wicker's Lumber right there. You, these denim hats do really, really well. If you find a, now if you find a denim K Products or a Louisville Manufacturing uh, Company hat that has like Cat or John Deere or something like that. Those can go really, really high. The the denim ones are very, I've seen like very valuable right now, as of right now. So, um, but again, now now getting into some of your uh, sports team. Now this isn't sports, but uh, sports specialties. Okay, sports specialties. This is definitely this is definitely. Um, a 90s brand you can find sports specialties they make uh this is made in korea and sports specialties use a play uh in korea a company called uh youngin uh y-o-u-g-a-n if you can i don't know if you can see that on the back right there no it, it's it'll say it right here okay um but again you know they made good quality hats i mean this is a bellagio hat I mean, you know someone's going to want to flex that Bellagio. So pick it up, okay? Let's see. Ain't no grandma here at 52. No, I'm just saying. No, no, no. Your grandfather would have had that hat when he turned 50, kept it, and now he's 80. Okay? That's that's what I'm saying. Okay? Yes, I'm flexing the Cobra. Uh, let's see. Chris, do you only pick up vintage hats? That's all I'm seeing. No, no, no. So that that one I just showed. No, you know what I'm saying. So that's that sports specialties. I pick up all kinds of hats. I pick up fitted hats. I pick up, you know, nylon hats. This is a this is a Marlboro Racing Team nylon. Okay, I mean, you know, look at that. You know, easy to go on, easy to pack. You throw it all in there. Okay, so yeah. You know, something with Marlboro, you're definitely going to be able to sell that. No, no, no. The 80s, look, listen, when I grew up, I grew up in the 80s. I had I had my grandpa, okay? My my grandpa was like, like 90 years old now. I'm 40. He's like 90. So, like, he's, he's long and gone now. But those are the hats you're going to want to look for. It's like that, my grandfather, my dad, like I was saying earlier, your grandfathers, your dads, if you're, you know, around my age, you know, 35, 40 years old, that's, you know, that's who's going to be having these hats. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. You got that Apollo 13. Okay. Some of these touristy hats, you can uh, definitely, uh, you know, sell pretty well. Um, yeah. You know, something, something with a nice embroidery. Okay. Uh, here's another one. Uh, you know, you're, you're finding all kinds of different stuff. Ski Veil, okay, Colorado Ski Resort, Ski Town right here. You know, th this is that, that you know, something definitely, you know, someone would want like that. Um, you know, you got your political, your an inauguration hats, 1997, uh, you know, Bill Clinton. You know, that's, that's the collectors. Jason says, let's see. As far as newer hats, I've done well with bright neon dry fit. Yes, sold pre-owned. Yes, definitely. Now I'm kind of showing like the vintage hats. Um, yeah, you if you're definitely doing some retail arbitrage, I do. I I've, I've got some stuff upstairs. Yeah, you know your your Nike stuff, your Nike dry fit. Uh, you know it that that stuff definitely does well. Um, you know your Adidas hats. Yeah, definitely. You know, definitely uh, want to do that. Uh, <laughs> so then that's, that's, you know, that's what, but I'm, I'm just kind of showing you the kind of like the, 
that that's stuff that stuff like if you saw you wouldn't really pass it up you'd be like yo that's a new nike hat i'm buying that okay but a lot of people are passing up this stuff and i'm kind of telling them don't pass up this stuff because this stuff is worth money as well does that make any sense you know you got your old budweiser hats king of beers now what i've what i have found though a lot of your budweiser stuff is not it, it's it's not as popular anymore um but i think sometimes with like you know these colors you know sometimes people are like yo i can get like 50 60 dollars out of that you know so sometimes um you know it's it you know the budweiser not that not that as popular as it once was um here's here's something i I would like to uh, let y'all know too. Um, oh, I got I got to research this. Here, someone do me some. So, so, it's old gold, yeah, mass produced. All right, so here's someone look this up. I haven't researched this. Now this is, I think there's a an Asian baseball team called the Braves because when I looked at the tag. Look at that tag. It has the Braves logo on it, or O R I X, and then it's got something right here. Maybe it's Korean. So, <laughs> right? So I I haven't looked this one up yet, but if someone in the chat wants to do some research, look up Braves. Maybe I think it's I think that's Korean. I could be wrong. It does look Korean. Let me see if I can zoom in. Right there. Can you see that? Underneath it. No, nope, we're not going to get the zoom. All right. So look, see if y'all can look that up. Because I think I got this hat. And then I got, <laughs> I got this hat in the same lot. But I think this is a Chinese hat. Now, this is this is something totally different. That, and, and, and I'm out of my wheelhouse on this. But this is a, like, I think this is a Chinese military hat. If anybody knows what this is called... I, we were, oh, oh, my brother and I were looking it up last night. He, he, he got it. It's got the, it's, it's the flaps that come down and this comes down and everything like that. Oh, what was this called? Michael, if you're still in the chat, hit me up on what this, what this was called. Now this one's not, see, this isn't Russian. It does. It looks Russian, but it has, see that right there. Is that Chinese? I think that's Chinese. Yeah, the Ushenka. <laughs> not a babushka. <laughs> a babushka. That's not a uh, Ushenka. Yeah. I, and I think that's Russian. <laughs> hey, Tracy, she just walked back in. Okay, so uh, a Ushenka, but the Chinese millet, like Chinese, Mongolia, and Russia all use these type of hats. We're going to keep this on for uh, a little bit. So. Pool stick. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, any like vintage, like Disney stuff, pick it up. We got that. Uh, I mean, let's see what else we got. Oh, any kind of like any, this, we, we did some research on this. Um, James Rogers, this guy, she said that's Korean. Is that Korean? Okay. Is that, what I'm wearing, is that Korean? I don't know. Thrift Beast, what's up? Hey, really good interview uh, tonight. I was watching it. Aside from thrifting, you buy in bulk. Sometimes I buy in bulk. It just depends. I've, I've bought in bulk. Right now, I'm I'm doing really like specialized buying uh, right now. So this is kind of like my back stash where I'm going to be uh, working on this. Uh, I'm probably going to be working on these hats for a good week. Um but this guy, James Rogers. Okay. We're going to, we did a uh, little research on this. This Eagle, his name is challenger and James Rogers was a, like a country music artist, but then he also, uh, he was a falconer for, for Eagles. And he had, he was like the first dude to have like an Eagle, like fly. And like, he did it. He did it at like, a. He would do like at football games and stuff like that. So that's where this guy originated from. So I got one of that those guys' hats. Um, if Tommy's still in here, I got the UPS with the flap on the back, the ear flaps. Uh, I've been 
get this one off. Oof. The dude, that, that hat keeps definitely keeps you warm right there. Um, yeah, we got the we got the uh, the UPS hat, you know, keeping it keeping it warm right there. Yeah, yeah, you can get a brand new one. Yes, exactly. Bill, I think we're on the yeah, we were talking about that last night. You can get a brand new one, you know what I'm saying? But uh it's kind of cool to have the old stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of I like I like having I like having the older stuff. You know, you get you can get you can get you can get um you know, mesh trucker hats all day now for 10 cents from China. You know what I'm saying? But I like the old stuff. The old stuff has nostalgia. You know, especially like, you know, rocking a vintage Hardee's hat. You know, where are you going to find that? You know? The Elmer Fudd. Now, wait a minute. So the UPS does look like an Elmer Fudd hat. But, I, I, let me see. Now, now when you rock something, you know, see, now this Hardy, I think this Hardy's hat's going to do pretty well for me on Grailed or Depop. Now here's here's those here's the ear flap flap hats you want right here, okay? Giving that old school look. Boom, walk in, covering the ears, going hunting right there. I mean, look at that. All right. <laughs> he said, "Smell that." Hey, a little for breeze in here. We we good, okay? Um, now here's the thing too. You definitely want to look for like some of these right here. You can um you can find the union tags, okay? Definitely if you see union tags, you know they're old as well. But I mean a lot of this stuff you you're, you're going to know anyway. I'm looking for that. No. All right, let's see. I wanted to let's see. I wanted to get into some of the the older sports stuff. Um Let's see. But I mean, I, I've got all kinds of stuff. Penn State, you know. Let's see. You know, just dumb stuff like this. Okay, I, I, I'm covered in this stuff. Uh, now, see, now here's here's a here's a great example of you know what we were kind of. Yeah, I got I put some lotion on it the, uh, before the video to make sure the the hats go on and off pretty easy. So, <laughs> um. But, you know, so we're looking at, you know, we're looking at hats like, you know, the old school hats and then versus the new school hats. This is a hat that's made by Polar, okay, that, you know, they just made this and it's got the camp vibes on it. But they are, you know, and this is what I'm, what I'm saying is they're going after this old look, okay? But how many hats of these were made where you can't find some of these now? And that's what the kids are kind of wanting, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's still has got that, it's got that same look, you know, brand new, but they're wanting the vintage stuff. They're wanting the unique, uniqueness of it, you know? All right. So here's, no, that's it. All right. So funny story about this hat. I bought two of these hats right here. Now, sometimes you just want to, yeah, I was I, I was I was I was lubed up, ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Easy on off, on off. You know, in out. Um, you know, stuff like this. As I was as I was um, saying in my vintage T-shirt, you know, sometimes you create the story. Sometimes you don't know what you have, so you just make a story about it. Again, if someone wants to call me out on that, go ahead. Um, but uh, you know. I call this a vintage eighties Wisconsin Badgers hat. And I sold this one for $30 and I picked this another one. They had two of them and I picked this one up. Now this one has some snap, uh, snap issues that I'm going to have to fix. Um, but a little super glue, a little, little, uh, polymer should be uh, good on that. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's make, about making the story. Yes. Polaris and ski do hats. Those sell well. Yeah. You're, you're, you know, a lot of your stuff, you know, that you're going to find, it's hard to find because no one else has that. Um, another thing too, your, your tourist hats, like this one's like Colorado. I'm telling you when I saw this hat right here, even though it, even though it's missing its foam and it's, 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 but it's made in the USA, it's mesh, you know, 
and it's got Colorado on it, I will sell this instantly. Okay. Not instantly, but I'll, I'll sell this really fast. Stuff like this, something vintage, something retro like this, I'll sell it really, really fast. Yes, Tracy, yes, you can you can replace those, yeah, snap bands. And that's why, that's why too, when you come across a lot of these hats, maybe, maybe it's torn, maybe it's ripped, maybe it's it's gross. You can salvage that snap if it's still got a good snap. You can you can salvage that out of there, take it out of there, and then you can you can hot glue or I've seen people hot glue them or super glue them in, in back into the hats. You know, so say one's like broken, you can super glue or hot glue or even stitch that right back into the hat. So yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah, where do you find it? eBay. <laughs> That's funny. Again, all right, so here's another thing. Like I was talking about, you know, something like this. All right, look at that. Now, this is a newer style hat. Okay, this is a LRG hat. But again, I want you know, I want to show you, you know, they're 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 imitating the style of the stuff that I'm showing you. You know, who's gonna have a Top Gun hat from the '80s? You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at that. Look at that. I mean. I'm a son of a gun. I'm a top gun. Okay. We, we, we got it all working. We got the, you know, American Legion hats. I have, I, I have a lot of hats listed. This is my hat death pile. Okay. We got that American Legion hat. These still sell. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Beautiful, like, like nice, like pink, loud colors too. These sell, okay, these sell all day. They got the mermaids on them. Dude's going to the beach. They're going to be rocking these. You know, don't forget the ladies. The ladies going to be rock wanting to rock these. You know, have that cool, you know, that retro vibe. So, you know, I mean, come on. All right, what else we got over here? I. But then you're just picking, you know, picking up stuff. You know, Dead Mouse. Now, this is a newer style hat, but got a following. But you're still getting, you know, what, 50 cents? Turn into 15. All right, let's see. Let's. Oh, here's another cool Veil hat. Look at this Veil. Veil, Colorado. Yes, Mel, where you been? We, I know ain't nobody rocking those. I'm just saying the potential of people rocking those. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, look at this. I mean, this one's got the, this one's got the ear protection as well. So... You know, definitely you're going to be, you know, definitely can sell that. Yeah, that, that, that hat straight up fire. Uh, oh, and then I got a few of these. I haven't done the research on these, but these are those pat. Now, this is a, like a Patagonia style hat. Now, this is not Patagonia, but uh, this is that, this is that, like that wool. Check that out. All right. You know, that, that, that's, that's a nice looking hat. I, I'm definitely going to do a little more research on that. I mean, what else y'all want to, what, what else y'all want? Oh, here's some of those. Here's some more of those, uh, those hats that have the flaps, the ear flap hats. I got a, I, I've got a few of those. Someone was talking about Polaris. I got that Polaris rescue hat right there. Oh, so, well, Mel, see, my brother and I, we were talking about these hats last night because it was like, it was a little like pre-show. So I was adjusting all the hats so you could definitely take a look at, you know, all the hats, you know, how they fit, how they look, you know. So that's that's why that's why I kind of had a, uh, you know, lube, lube up the hat head today, you know. But you know your NASCAR stuff again when you have the the act the excess of it. Oh, is this the, you know, I got, you know, another K products right here, steel chainsaws. You got the ones with the turkeys. I got some ones with the ducks. Um, you know, if you find those leather basketball hats, pick those up. <laughs> so, uh, what else we got in here? Now here, now I'll show you this. Here's something that, was is gonna have to be restored or you know when you have all that start breaking apart out there 
what I usually do with these is I'll usually like put them in a plastic bag or put them in another bag. And then I will have, uh, I will, uh, you know, tear, you know, cut into that and then clean that all out. So, all right, we got, you know, we got red skins. Here's more red skin, you know, um, oh, here's that. Is this the K brand? All right, here, finally, I don't know if you can see that, but this is a K brand hat. Same thing as K products. Okay. So, uh, or, you know, was made, you know, but again, these style hats, the K products, the K brand they're you know, these are definitely going to, you know, sell. Um, but you know, when you're picking up, you know, and also you're picking up stuff too, you know, again, unique, ironic, you know, Ernie salvage yard, the junk man, you know, that someone's, someone's going to want that. So, all right. What else? Oh, here's some of my, I was talking about the corduroy hat. I got hats falling everywhere. The corduroy hats. I'm a sucker for some corduroy hats. All right. I love how these do, um, you know, made in the USA. So you, so you know, it's vintage. It's got the embroidery. It's got the little rope. The one thing too, it has like the, the liner in here that to, to stand the hat up. So, I mean, overall really cool looking hat. Okay. I, I sell, I sell these all the time. All right. Oh, here's, here's a, now I'm all over the place. So it's all right though. We got, we still got 30, 34 people watching for some reason. <laughs> all right. So now this, this hat, all right, I'm going to teach y'all something here. Okay. So when you see a hat like this, now this is a fun stones hat, Fred, when you see the hat, okay, where the stitching goes up and around here and then it goes down the middle and on the sides right here, see how it goes around on the side right here. This is called a five panel hat. So you have one panel, two, three, four, five. So five panel hat. So take a look at, I wish I could get it, get it better, but here. I'll turn it inside out so you can see all the panels. See, see how you have a panel here, panel here, 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 and here. So it's a five panel hat. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate that. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. So, um, Oh, wait. But again, here we go. We got the America's best. It's got that light. It's got that flexible mesh. I like the flexible mesh a little bit better than the hard mesh. Just because, it, you know, you can shape the hat a little bit better. But, you know, again, you know, they're, they're going to be wearing to, to to just to be different, just to be cool. You know, some of these are collector's items. Some of them aren't. But, you know, some of them for teams that they want. You know, this is brand new at Tags. Um, this is that. This is East, East Sport, but that's an older one. Let's see. What is this one? Now here's here's another Tonkin tag. If you can see that, see that Tonkin right there. This is for uh, Peterbilt, Peterbilt uh, eighteen wheelers right there. <laughs> Pan yeah, five five panel hat mail. Uh, those were made kind of popular by um, Supreme. I mean, nowadays they made them. Supreme made those popular. The brand Supreme, they made those popular. So, um, but we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna be, you know, redoing a lot of these hats and you know fixing them up. But you know what? Not all the hats are, not all the hats are, you know, big money. But when you buy in bulk, that's what I mean. That's what happens. But then you find, you know, you find that, you know, Olympics Atlanta 1996 hat. So, stay. Okay, let's see. All right, so let's see. Stacy says in Bandera, we have a taxidermist and a meat market in the same building. I totally believe that. Okay. Because you see weird stuff in Texas like that. 
I've had my aunt works at a gun shop, and but it's a gun shop and a jewelry store. If that makes, but it's not a pawn shop. It's a gun shop and then a jewelry store. So, yes, I do. I do wash the sweaty ones. Yes, yes, yes. I the, trust me. A lot of it's sleight of hand here. A lot of these hats I've already taken a look at and put them on. Okay, there's some of them that are god awful garbage that I'd never put it on my hat head. So don't don't worry. It's 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 uh. It's all it's all been pre planned. Me and, like I get like I said, my brother and I, we uh we went, you know, over a bunch of these hats last night. So um, but you know, Maui ninety two, I mean, come on. This one even has a broken bill. Okay. Now, don't be afraid of broken bills on some of these hats because you know what the kids are gonna do? They're gonna put it like this and they're gonna wear it like this. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna care. They're not going to care. Boom. Or turn it around, put it to the side. They're not going to care. So, broken bill, be damned. All right. Let's see what else we got. I pick up, you know, now I do pick up new era hats. When you get them for cheap, you pick them up. Oh, this one's, this one's really cool. This one, now, now again, I could tell this is a, this was a cycling hat because of a couple things. One, well, one Oregon State cycling team. But the funny thing is, this black line right here, <laughs> it said golf scrambler. And they marked it out and put cycling team. Now, the, the, the brim is gone. It's basically, it, you can feel it like just destroyed. But again, the cyclers, boom, this is how they're going to wear it. Okay? Or if they're going to wear it like this, boom. Okay, this is something that you're not going to find. I picked this up, even though it's scratched out and marked on, it's something that's unique and something that's different. So people are going to, people are going to definitely like that. All right. Again, pancake hat. Would you pass this up? Would you? Okay. See, look at that pancake hat. But look at this. Let's see. Made in the USA. Okay. John Deere credit. Okay. There's a lot of people that collect John Deere stuff. Okay. A simple hat like this may bring you $15, $20 in this condition. Now, you might soak it. You might, you know, might soak it, put a little balloon. Or this, this would be perfect for what I call... It's the it, now. I was gonna try to bring these, bring this out tonight, but I was like, the space was limited. Um, but it's the you find a um, a pot, like an old pot and pan. You put put a pot upside down, and then you put the the hat over it, and it kind of squares it out. Okay, because a lot of these old older hats, instead of being like round, like your like your newer style hats. Like, like something like this, you definitely want to do a balloon, okay? Because it's, it's more rounded. But something like this is more like kind of structured and flat. So you'd want to do the the uh, the pot and pan method on that. So. <laughs> I get, all right. Hold on, I got to highlight this one. <laughs> Mel, this is why we're going over this. Okay. I again, this is why I'm kind of like you know just bringing this to the, the forefront because I sell a lot of these. Okay. You said I don't know anyone that would like any of these daggy daggy hats. I would love to hear you say that daggy hats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but again, these are the ones. These are the ones that are selling. These are the ones that I'm selling. Okay. I sell all kinds of, of these hats. Let's see. Let's let's see if I can go through some more. Let's see again. Oh, well, see, I, this one right here. Now this says $10, $10. This was a bundle deal. I did with this dude because he bought this other jacket that was really expensive, but this one said Richmond, Virginia on it. 
you know, um, NHRA Patriot, $25. All right. Uh, Boardwalk and Baseball. Uh, oh, I saw, <laughs> I actually sold this one on eBay and then I had to refund the dude on that because I forgot to take it out down on Grailed. But I mean, again, oh, I wish this one would pop up. You know, H and H performance, you know, you know, something like this, 14 bucks. You know, Jeter Paving Company, $19. PI, you know, a lot of look at these chugger hats right here. Ten dollars, fifteen dollars, fifteen dollars. This guy bought, you know, this guy bought three hats, okay? Three hats for forty dollars. Three hats for forty dollars. Okay. And what did I have in these hats? 75 cents. So turning 75 cents into four dollars. Come on now. Come on now. All right. Yeah, exactly. Mel, we were we were talking about this. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna want to pennies on the dollar for these hats. A lot of these daggy hats you called, okay? A lot of these daggy hats, they're gonna, they're gonna, you know, people are gonna be walking right past them. They're not gonna, they're gonna be like, you want this hat? They're like, you want this old Bridgestone hat? This is garbage. Oh, but it's an old school swingster hat made in the USA mesh. Okay. And it's got that little felt patch right there. That's not, that's not, that's not a, you know, screen printed on there. That's that old school like felt patch. Okay. Again, they don't think this is worth anything. But to potential buyers, like I showed you just on my grailed, okay? Just like I showed you on my grailed, 15, 20, 25 bucks all day, okay? St now, if you can find, now, now this one I'm going to have to do a little more. Uh, Penn State Rose Bowl corduroy hat. I got to do a little more uh, fixing up on that. Um, what else do we want to look at? You know, NHRA hat, those still sell. Let's see. Let's see. My brother, my brother just found some beautiful uh, hats um, this weekend. He showed me he's got some that are that are awesome. I do wanna I do wanna find this one hat though. Oh man, it's gonna take me forever now. I don't know where I'm gonna find it now. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll I'll just describe it. Um, but I mean, look now, some of these you're gonna find with a foam that goes all the way back as well. Those are cool. People buy those. You know, anything old school like Chevrolet Cadillac. You know, people are gonna buy. Now again, now uh, another thing too. They're like, but Chris, look at that bill. It's all nasty, and it's like, okay. I'll show you how a lot of a lot of times with your hats, if you get if you get a good like stiff brush, this is one of my stiff shoe brushes, and you should start going back and forth on it. You can get all that stuff, get out of the nooks and crannies. And you're not you gotta you gotta do it gentle enough to not like rip it. Okay, because you don't want to rip the stitching out, but you want to get in there deep enough. Okay, and a lot of times a brush is kind of your first your first line of defense to take that old daggy looking hat. I'm gonna use that now, Mel. You got me using that the old daggy hat to look at that. I mean, come on. All I did was hit it with the brush. Okay, so definitely have a good, nice, stiff brush to where you can get some of that. You know, get some of that, especially on the brill, uh, the, the bill. You know, I mean, come on. We almost got this hat looking good now. Okay. Now I'm just going to, you know, uh, put it on the pot, do a little steam action and we should be good. Now I always say like this, you know, have, have another, you know, have your stiff brush for the, for the bill and then have, have like a, like a, a soft, but stiff bristle brush, you know, for some of these, like from the top where you can get like in this like crease right here. Cause you can just like, and I mean, we're we're looking good on this hat, because sometimes that's all what that's all it takes. They're just a little dusty. They've been sitting in the basement. They've been sitting in the barn. Okay. Yeah. Now that bill, now that bill looks brill. <laughs> uh, so there we go.
We got that hat done. Now, now. I... Oh, is this the one? No. Is this the one? No. Um, sometimes when you find new at tags, these old school crafters that pride in the USA, these are definitely uh, ones you want to find as well. Um, you know, it's got that old school embroidery on it, old school fireman hat, volunteer firefighter or something like that. You know, pick those up. Uh, what else I got? You know, anything like, you know, Crisco racing, pick those up, you know? I mean, it, 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 the, the, the possibilities are endless. You can, you know, a lot of people are like, well, I just, you know, I just want to, I just want to hit up, you know, uh, just the sports teams one, but you can get these a lot, lot cheaper than your sports team, like your new era sports team hats. I mean, look at this, look at this nineties. Uh, here's another brand late eighties, early nineties Moors right there. If you see that Moors, this one says, uh, the gospel taking it to the streets. I mean that, you know, that's definitely like early nineties, you know, hip hop looking right there. So I got a couple of those. Oh, here's another thing too. And don't, Oh, here we go. Here we, this is what I wanted to show you. Does this one have it too. Yes. Okay. So, So your new, so your old, your newer new era hats. Everyone knows what they look like, but if you find some of these right here, that's the old school new era Dupont Visor Pro model hats. Okay, that's what you want to. Those are definitely like good pickups right there. I've had really good luck with stuff like this. Okay, now you got to make sure. It's it's the it's the bigger sizes and not the kid sizes, but sometimes kid sizing works as well. But old school like eighties, uh, new era like this new era tag Dupont visor. These are the old school little league hats. Okay, so if you played little league in the eighties, you'll remember these hats. Okay, and this is what. Never seen the older new era. Now you have. Okay. Here, I'll show you another one right here. Look at that old new era right there. New era. DuPont visor. Pro model. Manufacturer in the USA. Okay. These are your old school uh, little league, your T-ball and little league coaches hats. These now are becoming very, very popular because of the nostalgia people remember that you know because nowadays every they're they're making all all the hats are like the mlb style but they used to make them with just like the you know just like the felt letterings this one's super nice i almost thought this was like the hat that i wore on my t-ball team but we looked it up my brother and i looked it up and uh we looked it up and it was i was on the i thought i was on the pirates but I was on the Cobras, but it was yellow. It was like this bright, like mustard, like crazy. If you could see this color, like you can see the color, but if you can see it like here, it's like this crazy, like the most vibrant mustard yellow I've seen. So, you know, but a lot of people are wanting these hats nowadays because of the nostalgicness of what they had. So. <laughs> Ugh. There you go, Andy. Yeah. I mean, again, I'm not the hat expert, okay? I'm just knowledgeable in hats. You know, sometimes, again, I had someone reach out to me today and said, hey, you know all these hats. You know, I'm trying to show you all the hats that I that I think can sell and that I've that I have that I have sold and I have experience selling. Um, you know, not everything sells, but again. If you, if you get 10 hats, four to five of them are going to sell. Okay. If you get, so think about if you get 50 hats, you know, 50 hats for, and you pay 50 cents for them, 
and twenty five dollars. So you you spend twenty five dollars on fifty hats, okay? And twenty of those sell for ten dollars. You're at two hundred dollars right there. Done. What about Colorado Leisure Snapback? <laughs> Yeah, I I don't know, but now this this is the now this hat right here is a little this this one's gonna be need to get the old alcohol soak and like maybe a good soaking and you know a, a good dunking and a good scrubbing. But again, you know, just getting just getting in there with that brush sometimes works. But this one looks very like it's been worn a lot. Especially like, you know, you see something like this, you know, you definitely want to get in some alcohol. So. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Again. I haven't had. I sell. I probably sell triple the amount of hats on Grailed and Depop than I do on eBay. Just because it's that. Just because it's that. You know, it's that style that they're looking for, you know, and I don't think I don't think. I don't think um, I don't think hats are ever going to go out of style. They're always going to be an accessory, so why not pick them up? So, all right, I got enough of those. I think I've had enough of those hats. Or let's get it. Let's get some over here. You know, even like newer style hats, I, I pick them up if I get them cheaper. You know, here's New Era. You know, Florida, pick that up. You know. But I love stuff like this, though. This is what my heart is. Elephant Butte Lake in New Mexico. I love that. I love the retired, don't ask me for a damn thing. I love that. What? A, oh, here we go. I got to show you all this cool hat right here. Oh, well, here's, here's another Budweiser hat. I think that, you know, whatever on that one. This cool equestrian one with the all-over horse print. I've done Definitely, uh, you know, I've definitely sold stuff like this before. Um, this stuff is super popular too. This says, if you think that help is ugly, you should see the boss. Old, funny, like, and also you can find some stuff that's kind of like, you know, risque, kind of nasty. You know, this is, this is, uh, this is something that, you know, definitely sells. I think Tim's got a question for me. I want to show you this hat in a minute. Um, Yes, the beta version of List Perfectly, when you go over to Depop, is only doing the one picture. Yes. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, Corey, I have touched on tourist hats. You definitely want to pick up, like, those touristy type hats. You know, stuff like this. Seattle. I mean, this is a newer style. But, you know, you know, definitely pick up, you know, Branson, Missouri, Boxcar, Willie. You know, but I showed that Colorado one earlier, you know, but I, this one, this, this one, this, this hat right here. I mean, check this out. I mean, isn't that, doesn't this have that back to the future vibe to it? Yep. There we go. All right. So, uh, Mel, so there's, there's a few, like, okay, so for your squashed ones. Let's see. It just depends on if it's foam or if it's, but you can, you know, you can, you can take that balloon blow, you know, soak it in the water. Don't leave it overnight, but soak it and then blow up a balloon and it'll, and you can shape it. Or if you don't have a balloon, take some bubble wrap, stick that in there and shape it. Okay. Um, some of your more square hats, something like this, that's where your pot and pan would be a good, uh, a good way. Now this one's going to be soaked in OxyClean cause this one's dirty. But again, <coughs> when you buy it, all these hats, you know, now, now the one thing is be careful with OxyClean, be careful with OxyClean soaking some of your hats. Cause I'll show you what happens. This is, this is a tip that I want to give to everyone. Uh, cause I did this early, but 
Uh, again, you can always uh, oh here's here's some more touristy type stuff. Las Vegas got that denim bill. Let's see. I'll show you what happened. I soaked some. I soaked a couple of these new era hats in uh, OxyClean, and it bled them. Okay, but you know why? Because these were the one hundred percent wool one. Okay. These are with a 100% wool. So if you do, if you soak these in uh, OxyClean, you can get some color bleeding out of this. So, all right. So let's see. Yes, Parrot Head Picker does have a good one. You can shape them with a coffee can, towel inside. Exactly. Uh, yes, use spray starch for sure. Yes. So uh, spray starch inside. And then also... Um, what you can do also get some like hairspray too, uh, like the aerosol hairspray, and that'll stiffen up just enough on that. And yes, then then if you do mess up your hat, then you take them outside and you're gonna spray them with some bleach and make a cool all over bleach hat. And that's what's gonna happen with these two. What I think I'm gonna do for this, I think for this one, it's gonna be an all over bleach style, or it's gonna be like a zigzag. And then what I think I'm gonna do. Uh, with this one is I'm going to, I'm going to, what I'm, I'm going to um, tape off the bill and then I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a bleach style uh, this right here. So, oh man. Oh y'all talk. Oh, Tracy's talking glass in the, <laughs> um, but again, you know, step out of your comfort zone, get, get, you know, No, I have not yet. It's just been too cold here, Kent. I want to do some bleaching. I've got some sweatshirts, and I've got I've got a bunch of stuff I want to do. It's just, I don't want to be out in the cold. I, right now, I don't want to be in the cold. Oh, check this out. I call you. I call this the Samuel L. Jackson. Check out that vintage white Nike tag. All right. I mean, tell me the thing the Samuel L. Jackson one, right here. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, oh, I wanted to, sh I wanted to show y'all something too. Uh, you know, there, there's definitely, uh, some good, good questions going on when you are, when you get your hats. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we got, we got a lot of questions. Hold on. Now the wool ones, the wool, what the wool hats have the, are the only ones that have really bled. Uh, mm, take that back. Some of the corduroy as well. So the corduroy and the wool. Okay. <laughs> yes, Tommy, you're right. We are on hat number 87. We might have to make this a two parter. No, I'm just kidding. Um, one of the things you want to do when you have a, you know, an older snapback, don't just take it and rip it. And cause you're going to, you're going to destroy it. What you want to do is you want to check. So you want to put your finger into that and slowly undo it. Okay. You know, make sure, make sure it, it's good because I've seen some, you know, older style hats. If you take care of them and that's something you want to put in your description and say, Hey, yeah, the old pegs just, you know, snap right all right off. Just be like, Hey, make sure careful with the snap back. It is, you know, a little brittle, you know, um, you know, and basically as is condition. So, all right. Uh, so, you know, make sure you're doing that, but you may have to go really slow, but maybe even get like a, like a fork or a little, like, you know, like a, or like a screwdriver to kind of push that in as you release it, especially for some of the old ones. Yeah. And then, yeah. So what you do, um, I wish I had some. So what you do for the old hats you know, so say like I wanted this hat. Now I'm, I'm gonna sell this hat because it's in pretty good condition. But say it wasn't. I, so what you would do is you basically you can take uh like a razor and the holes and like cut it right here too, and the whole snap back will come out. Okay. And then you can, you know, say you have like a you know a bunch of hats like me. But yeah, eBay sells these replacements. And then what you can do is on your replacement, you don't have to necessarily sew it. 
I've seen people hot glue it and I've seen people, um, I've seen definitely people, uh, like super glue it as well. Can't help, but keep picking up caps. Yeah, I know. Right. It's like an addiction. You just see it and you're like, I've got to pick this stuff up, you know, but we got, I mean, we got old school, like Warner brothers. I've sold a couple of these hats for like 50 bucks a piece. There's Buzzards Run. There's these places in Kentucky. It's Buzzards Run and Roosters Run. So, yeah, don't be cheap. Just so it. I know, I know. I'm just saying, like, if, if, if people don't have the... I like to replace some snapbacks with actual brands, snaps, like K products. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're getting into a little... I understand that, so... I picked this up. I got to do some research. This is like a, it's like, uh, I don't know. It's like, like a African, like beret, but like for the U S or something like that. It's got like, it's got satellites in Africa and then like a skull here. So yeah, we got, I got the caps, you know, but just stuff like this, you know, all day. Oh, this one's going to need a replacement. See, that's why I kept that. I'm going to look for a replacement on that one. Another one of these. See, this one, I really I really like the look of that. So that there goes the Nike Samuel L. Jackson. But like this one looks like really cool. I like I like the look of this, you know. And then I've even got like leather ones, like old school leather ones like this with the, that has like the ear flaps that go up. And these are really cool. Let's see. Now the thing is, some of these hats, it's it's just so hard to tell, you know, if it's like, because I I, I I feel like some of these hats are from like the seventies, but it's it's hard to really you know date that seventies to eighties. Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa. There we go, bro. See, so I love this community. You know what I'm saying? We got that, but then you, you put down the ear flaps. Okay, look at that. Boom, right there. Scout shirts. That can. All right. Again, more like, you know, like Ford stuff, old school Ford stuff that has funny sayings. You know, definitely sell that. I mean, Dale Earnhardt stuff, that still sells. NASCAR man probably has a bunch of those. Let's see. I was digging through here. Here's here's like stuff like this. People love this stuff. Like, you know, old, you know, that 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 roped 90s, you know, tourist hat, Philadelphia PA. It's got the Liberty Bell on there. You know, they love stuff like that. See, you got the Liberty Bell on there. <laughs> And he says he's in his happy place right now. So, oh, here we go. Look at this. Now, here's another. Now, this is an odd K Products tag. Look at that. That's another. That's a different K, K Products. Okay. But again, look at that. K Products mesh patch. Okay. Now, again, is it going to be, is, is this a $100 hat? No, it's not. But, you know, this is something that, people like this is a, this is a this is a style that definitely definitely sells i don't sell a lot of cowboy hats i don't find a lot of cowboy hats uh tim so i've done cowboy hats here and there but with cowboy hat now with cow if you do cowboy hats you're gonna want to research it you're definitely gonna research it oh yeah i'm making i'm making mel want to buy these Daggy hats. Come on, like look at that. You know, look at that daggy hat right there. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Like, yeah, it's got the old school crown and everything like that. I mean, look at that. The daggy hats. I love that. But yeah, even your like older old school like NASCAR hats. Now these uh Mel okay, so Mel is calling them daggy hats like Kind of, it, and it's, it's exactly what I'm talking about. 
it's 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 a, a daggy. I know exactly what Mel's talking about. A daggy hat is something that you would be walking by, not paying attention to. It would it would just be it would just be laying in the corner, and boom, you know, like like. No, no one's looking at this because it's a, it's an old, it's an old style hat that no one, yeah. Oh, I like that, Kent. All right, we're gonna, <laughs> from Daggy to Swaggy. I love it. You know what I'm saying? So we got that. Uh, what else we got? Now again, you know, you can now some of this stuff. You know, I'll find stuff like this, but I usually let this stuff go for, you know. Uh, 47 is a pretty good brand to pick up, but you, again, you're not going to be making a lot of money on that. So, um, you know, 47 is a decent brand. New era is a, a good brand. Mitchell and Ness is a good brand. Uh, so those are newer style. Again, I got another one with the, with, you know, the old school flapper hat, ear flap hat. I got that Wentz, you know, the, Dale Earnhardt. Now, stuff like this. Again, look at this. It's got that Portland, Maine lighthouses. Okay. Portland headlight. It's got the map on it. All right. All we got to do is brush off the bill a little bit. I mean, look at that. That's something, you know, these, it's, it's made in the USA. It's the, the P hats made in the USA. Now, this is a vintage 90s, you know, so. There we go. Oh man, my, my now here again. Here's another one of those ear flap cats. Now this is like made out of like that Carhartt style. So what are we sorry for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I know. Forty seven is not a high resale. You know they yes. No, I'm I'm just saying. Yeah, Las Vegas thrust. That's what we were talking about. The one thing if you take from this you ain't you're not gonna be overspending for you're not you don't want to be overspending for your hats you want to be buying cheaper you want to be buying anywhere from you want to be buying anything from free to two dollars that's your margin right there okay that's where you're gonna be making money anything over that that's where you can potentially start losing money so all right, Jody was asking about list perfectly. I think Tommy, uh, Tommy answered that question. Thank you. Yeah, daggy man, we're gonna turn these daggies to swaggies. Let's see. Marching band hats. See now. I'm in. I'm, I'm into that cap, the hat cap type thing. Once you start getting, once you start getting into that that weirder stuff, marching band hats and all that stuff, yeah, I I don't know. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tommy and I, the the catalog, I still haven't got a, I haven't still got an answer from them. So. Yeah, 10, 10 cents a pop. That's that's you know, 10 that you want to get these these are perfect for garage sales. So we're going to take a little break and we'll tell tell a little story. No. No, again, you want to find these at garage sales. You want to you want to be able to uh get you know, a big lot, okay? Yeah, that's the thing. Tim, that's the thing. You're buying. You're not buying for yourself. You're buying for someone that may be to to see value in the hat. Like, oh man, you know, I don't know. Like, you, you never, you never know. What, you know, some dude may want a blimpy hat just to be ironic. You know what I'm saying? They'd be like, yo, I got a blimpy hat. I'm cool. You know, whatever. You know, they they just see it again. They see this stuff different than they'd see it on eBay. Okay. They, they, they see, they, 
that they see stuff different than they see it on eBay, like on Grailed and Depop. Okay. So when you're on Grailed and Depop, they just see the picture. They just see the boom, look at this Midwest Co. You know, once I get this all nice and, and neat, they're just going to see like a big old M on that, you know, big, nice hat and, and nice big blue. And they're going to be like, yo, that hat looks dope. Yo, I want to get that. Or they're going to see this like nice red, okay, AMS hydraulic equipment. They're going to see something big and nice like that. And they're just going to, they, they're just going to be like, yo, that looks cool. That's going to match my blue foam posits I'm going to be rocking. Ain't nobody else got that hat. I'm getting it done. So, yeah, shark hat. I mean, dude, something that something that just like looks cool, you know, just like something that has good colors to it, you know. I mean, and but even it's like stuff that's ironic, you know. Bob's tire service. Oh, look at that. Oh, y'all see that? The foam is coming out of that one. So, I've got to see. Sometimes when you put the See, now this one's got the foam on it that's deteriorated. But again, we're, we're going to clean that up. So, all right. What else we got? I'm missing, oh, definitely like old school cigarette hats too, like cool. Those sell. <laughs> um, here's another, for Tracy, here's another uh, new era DuPont. Okay, these are your old school DuPont ones. Yeah, blowout. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have to suck the. Oh, here we go. I found it. I fucking found it. All right, here we go. I don't have a lot of these hats because when I do get them, they sell quickly. But if you got your journal out and you're writing it down, right? This is this is a style you're gonna want to look for. Okay. Now this is not Adidas. Okay, but this is your trucker hat with the three stripes. Okay, now some this is kind of like the K products. Okay, you're gonna want to have like made in the USA. It's not gonna be K products. It's not a, a lot of these are, are not gonna be anything, but they have the three stripes. I've seen some of the Coca Cola ones, some of the famous brand ones that have the three old school three stripes. They, they go for a lot of money. I saw like a Mountain Dew hat go for like three hundred dollars that had the three stripes. So put that kind of in your knowledge database. If you see those little three stripes and it's vintage, it's got the mesh, it's got the foam. Even if the, even if the foam is all deteriorate, pick it up. Okay. Pick it up. You got the foam or the three stripes mesh trucker hat. Okay. Let's put this one on. All right. That's that. That's that Parker and Amchin, I guess. I don't know. I got, oh my God, I got so many. We got, but like, look at this. I mean, this is just, it like, again, ironic stuff, you know, but, but, but it's a farm, but you know, Rocco chickens, you know, someone's, someone's going to buy that. Someone's going to be like, yo, ha ha, funny Rocco chickens. I got to get that. All right. And, and you know what, believe it or not too, a lot of these with like company names on them, uh, you know, different names. I think that I think that one still has some foam residue in it. Um, some of these that have the uh, company names in them or on them, I've had a lot of times that someone with that last name. I, I had a bunch of Doyle hats. I had three Doyle hats, and some dude named Jim Doyle from who knows where bought all those hats just because it had, you know, that name on it. So. All right, let's see. What's what Andy says? I've been selling on eBay 18 years, but just started thrifting about two years ago. Always sold sports card, but had my own baseball card shop. But I love the hunt of thrifting and the profit margins. Dude, that's 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 the fun of thrifting. Again, you can get these hats so cheap. Like, again, Patagonia hat today, 99 cents. So, I mean, you know, rust, you know, the rusty the two rusty wallets hats. I might sell these in a, you know, a set right here, you know, 99 cents. I mean, you, you can't beat it, you know? So, um, 
Oh, here we go. My brother. Here's the rage hat I had. <laughs> so, um, that's what I said at the beginning. If you, people were still coming in, Rage Against the Tim. I don't know if you're a fan, but Rage Against the Machine and Run the Jewels just announced the tour. Re, uh, the Rage Against the Machine reunion tour coming to DC August 4th. Tickets go on sale on Thursday. I'm buying them. I don't care how much they are. I saw Rage Against the Machine 20 years ago. Probably one of the top five concerts I've seen, and I've seen. I've seen hundreds of concerts. I used to work in the music industry. Raising the Machine put on a terrific show. So Raising the Machine, Run the Jewels, uh, NDC, August 4th. So, <laughs> yeah. So this is my Rage hat. I kind of, it was so funny. I was, I was talking to my brother because I was used to be, a, he, he said, he's like, man, I remember you cruising around in your Pontiac uh, Grand Am or Grand Prix. And you had your Rage Against Machine tape, and you were playing the shit out of that. And I was like, "Yeah," because we were talking about this Rage hat. And then, come to find out today, they set their whole tour up. So, um, yeah, definitely. So that that's a little uh, sidetrack, but I thought I'd mention that. Um, now, here's another thing too. Trade for some hats. Check out this. This is a this is an old school. Uh, now now things like this you want to research. This is a you know a California Angels hat with with the old school new era tag. So stuff like this, I definitely uh, definitely want to research. Now, um, like again, pricing your hats. This is how I price them. Hey lobster, what's going on? Yeah, RTJ, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, Rage Against the Machine, Cypress Hill. I think the last Tim, the last HFS festival or HF festival I went to, it was like Jay Z and the Offspring. But that was like in the early like two thousands, I think. Um, so pricing the hats, I usually do like nineteen ninety nine. I usually do nineteen ninety nine plus four ninety nine shipping. Okay. Or I'll do twenty four ninety nine, and it's, I I do just straight up four ninety nine shipping flat rate. Uh, m most of these hats, most of these hats will, if you put them in the right uh, kind of box, they will go for, um, they will go for, uh, ten to twelve ounces. Okay, so ten to twelve ounces, you can send it first class. I I charge four ninety nine on that. So, whew. all right, you think we can make it eight more minutes? Um, Tracy was there too. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> if you have any more questions, if you don't want to look at, see anything, I might have it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here's another style hat. Um, this 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 kind of hat right here is a painter's hat. If you you can find old, uh, last time Tim was showing me, um, <laughs> Tim just said I'm getting my. Someone's gonna have to come on then because I'm losing steam. I was go I've been going hardcore for two hours. Here, if anybody wants to come on, I'll and we can we we can always uh we can we can always uh. We can always extend it. So if anybody wants to come on, let me know. <laughs> yeah. No, it's Jody. It's up time, not uplift. <laughs> no, but this is a, a old school painter, like the old school painters hats. See how that is like that. Tim was showing some of the, I had a bunch of capitals ones. Uh, I should have kept some, but uh, you can find these. Usually they were like, promotionals so this says like give hope a hand but on the back it has like the the all the phoenix teams it's got the phoenix suns oh it's got the phoenix suns and the diamondbacks and it's got ball uh bank one ballpark and america west arena so on the back of there but these are the these are those old like you know cheapy like 
um, painters hats. I mean, they they're kind of like cycler hats, but you know, giveaways. But I, I had some old school Capitals ones, and uh, I mean, I sold those for like 30, 40 bucks a piece. Um, bucket hats, you know, that's called a bucket hat. This is this is a. I mean, this is a you know Brooklyn uh, the. Yeah, the. Let's see right there. Brooklyn basketball, you know, Mitchell and Ness made it. I mean, again, I picked it up for like two bucks. Um, you know, Marlboro still sells well. So definitely pick up Marlboro stuff. Hold on. I got I some goodies in this bag. I right, got, let's see. Um, your, your old, okay. So here we go. Um, your logo athletic stuff. Your, your, your sports teams, like any of your old 90s snapbacks, those seem to do well. Some do better than others, you know, depending on cleanliness, the team, and all that stuff. Uh, I will not put that on my head because I'm not a Cowboys fan. Um, you know, Castrol Racing, that's, you know, some NASCAR stuff. Uh, what else we got? All right, look at that. Look at this new... Now, I feel like this new era model came in right after the DuPont one. So, look at that new era right there. So, this is a Cubs hat right here. <laughs> John Gross says, I love those. I love that. I bought a vintage hat. And I'm not making fun of you because I run into these questions all the time. I bought a vintage hat with an S on it. I can't figure out what it represents. Now, I run in that too. Because because what a lot of people have to remember is you've got, you've got, uh, oh yeah, Tim, I got, oh, uh, you missed all my Redskin stuff earlier, right? I've got, I've got a bunch of Redskin. I've got some, oh, check out this. You, Tim, if you're watching, you'll like this. Oh, look at this. I mean, Check out that old school new era with the NFL on it. But uh look at look at that Joe. Now it did have in the bill, it's got something. I don't know if it played a song or something like that. I was trying to figure it out, but I can't. I don't know if it was a light. I don't think it's a light. I think it played like a song or something like that. Maybe it played Hail to the Redskins or something. So, yeah, I, I showed that one earlier. I've got I've got another one buried in here. I'll snap some pics and I'll send it to you. So, and it played Hell to the Redskins. It probably did. Man, nah, that'd be awesome if you. If, I wonder if we could get that out anyway. Anyhow, put a new battery in that. You know, put put some new foam in that. Clean that up nicely. Um, you know. The Mark Haynes Magicians. I like this hat. This one's a cool hat. I think this is like this. I think this is like pre like globe trotters. I think so. <laughs> yes, I, that's what I was gonna say. You can, you can, you can try to reverse image it, but sometimes I don't know. Now that old school Power Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I think this is a kid's hat though. Maybe I don't know. Might be a, yeah, that's a, that's a kid's hat. <laughs> oh, this one's really cool. This Universal Studios, uh, 30th anniversary Universal Studios Hollywood, 1994. So this this is a good looking hat right here. See now something like this, something like this, like you know, I'll I'll, I'll for your popular stuff, I'll look up comps. But something like this would do like $35, $40 for, you know? Oh, I like this. Now, see, I got I to gotta clean this one up a bit. But I bought it. because I mean, it's ratty. But people will buy some. This daggy hat, they'll, they'll buy. Look at that. Making the buck in the USA. Look at that. <laughs> Ain't that some crazy? We got that. You know, find that old like Marlboro stuff. 
the lizard rock stuff. What else we got? You know, now this one's a cool. It's like a, it's like a, it wants to be a five panel, but it's a. Oh, let me see. I still got the, I still got the price tag on there. It wants to be a five panel, but it's mesh too. But like Maryland wildlife, you know, park ranger hat. I got, I got some dope stuff in here. Dang. I forgot all about this stuff. Yeah, you know, you know, and then also your newer stuff too. If you get it cheap enough, you know, I got this for a dollar fifty. Your Nike golf hats, you know. Ooh, Universal Studios, nineteen eighty nine. Yeah, see. Oh, don't worry about it, Judgment Care. That's all good. You can watch the rerun. We're talking about hats. We're talking about. I'm just. I, I think I'm. I'm. I'm through like. Hat number 126 of 462, I think. So. <laughs> but I think a lot of these I just, I picked up for so cheap that, you know, I mean, it, it's like, why not, you know? I mean, like, so, you know someone's going to find that funny. You know, Union, uh, Fork and Ho Company, you know, Apple Barn. This one's cool right here. Uh, I, I've done really, really well with uh, Vegas stuff. Uh, Tropicana. Look at that. Ramada Resort and Casino. I've done really, really good stuff uh, with that. Just a vintage boat brand hat. I don't know. But see, look. Again, you just hit it with the... You hit it with the the good stiff brush, and a lot of that stuff comes off. Just be careful. Go slow, you know. And then you can come in with the, the softer brush and really get in there. Look at that. Ooh, we made this look pretty... Look at that now. Ooh, we ready to go. Might have to switch hats now to the Tropicana. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice looking. Oh, we got that Tropicana gel. We're going to wear it like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, don't, don't, don't be afraid to pass up hats, you know, or you know, don't, don't pass up the hats just because you don't know about it. You know, I picked up some of these, these, these. These conductor hats. So I've seen some of these bring some good money, you know. Look at that. We got the conductor. Then you find that like Masters 2007. You know, anything Masters usually sells. Um, I, I've done, I've done, okay, so here's another thing too. I've done good with golf hats too. Like these Taylor made or the, you know, Titleist and all that stuff. I've done I've done well with those too. I don't know who Pete Dye is. Pete Dye golf course, but I picked up anyway. Because the thing is, you ain't gotta know about it, but so if someone else does know about it, you know. Now I gotta sit now. I maybe someone someone's name is Ben Yates out there and he wants that hat. I don't know. I think a lot of the times I just get like stuff. Now, here's the thing. I always, I always find now here's the odd thing about this. I always find the train conductors hats, like an adult one and a, and a, and a, and a kid's one. Like this one's like too small. Like I always find the adult one. Pete Dye is one of the greatest golf course designers. See, Psh, there we go. See, I would have looked that up. And I'm like, oh yeah, here, here we go. But I usually find like I find like separates of these. Um, I don't. I do have a few of the the Oshbot Osh Gosh, the the Osh Gosh Bagosh ones. These these don't have any tags. These didn't have any tags. But somewhere in that box, there's the Osh, and and they're like the old school made in the USA ones. And I've seen that those do pretty well. 
Um, but yeah, so it's like a dad and the kid's hat. Krill and Gleaner. <laughs> oh, Pete Dye just passed away this January. That's sad. Um, another one that I do really, uh, another type or uh, a golf hat that I do really well with is any of the, uh, the majors, uh, especially, you know, like, especially like your U S open and the U S G a member hats. I find a lot of these, um, uh, again, you, I don't want you paying like $5 a piece for these. Um, but you know, if you can get these for 50 cents a piece, throw them up there. I've sold, I've sold a bunch of these before. So, no, the train does not come <laughs> with the white commercial van. <laughs> All right, what do I got in this? I think I just got a lot of ragtag stuff in here. Because, I mean, this, let's see. Oh, these are some NRA hats, um, some fighting squirrels. Oh, look at here. We got another Pete Dye golf course. So maybe that was, you know. Maybe, maybe they they were. Oh, here we go! Look at that. You know, some preppy dude's gonna want to wear this. Dartmouth golf. Come on, bro. You know. I uh, dude, I used to have some Kobe hats, and I've already sold my Kobe. I, I think I've sold out of all my Kobe stuff I already have. So, San Carlos Marine. I mean, it's it's, it's endless. So, um. That's that's the stuff I just kind of wanted to show y'all. You know, don't don't get, you know, don't get too, you know, wrapped up. If you see, you know, try it out. If you get, if you can find, if you can find these hats for ten cents, twenty cents a piece, go ahead and you know try your luck at them. If you have any questions, you can always you know text me or. Uh, DM me, you know, on Instagram and, you know, I, I'm always there with, uh, you know, I, I'm usually there if I'm not, you know, passed out sleeping, uh, you know, you know, we can, uh, I can ask the questions, you know, but yeah, do your research, see, you know, see what you, uh, see what you come up with, you know, I did get this now, this hat though. All right, here, let's the trivia question. 1995 Nebraska National Champions. All right. Who was the best quarterback of college football that year that never made it to the NFL? See if you see if you can uh, guess that. He was one dude, I'm telling you what, this dude was electrifying. He could have he could have been the next or the first Michael Vick. Like he could have been Vick before Vick. But he had blood clots in his legs and never made it to the end. Yep, right there. Tommy fucking Frazier, bro. Tommy Frazier was a beast. If you if you want to see, and I don't know if Tim knows this, or Tim may know this. If you want to see one of my like favorite highlights from watching 90s college football, it is in the I think I think it I believe it's in the 94, 95 Rose Bowl or something like that. No, Orange Bowl. Tommy Frazier breaks like nine tackles against the Florida Gators to run like this massive run for a touchdown. And it was awesome. So yeah. No, it's not Tim Tebow. Damn it. <laughs> no, Tommy Frazier. He was, he was awesome. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Was this another K products? Yeah, see, here's another K products. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a K products right there. Um, this one is made for Run with the Wolf, Wolf, Wolf Heads Motor Oil. So that one's really cool. Again, a little dusty, but hey, let's uh, let's clean it up right now. You know, all you have to do is just get your little brush out. There we go. See, we're getting all that stuff out there. Digging in the nooks and crannies. And we're almost ready to go on this hat. Look at that. Now, after we straighten it up a little bit, 
Look at that. I mean, come on. Again, sometimes that's all that's all it takes. You know, we're gonna put that on the little we're gonna put that little on the uh put put what I would do with this hat. So see what I would do? I would get I would get like that little coffee can or I'd get the I have like a little pot that I, I put it on and I would spray some water and I would just shape that. I would just go back and forth, back and forth until it shaped out the way I wanted it. Spray some water on it. No, this hat now see this hat. I wouldn't do a balloon with this hat because look, it's a square style hat. Okay. For square style hats, you're, you're, you know, with the point, you're not really going to want to do a balloon with it. Okay. Yeah, I brushed that bitch off. You know what I'm saying? It's but, so it's a square. So you, you want to make a square. That's why I, I would do the that's why I would do the pot. Okay. Again, a hat like this, balloon all day. But this, you don't want to do the balloon because you're because you have that you have that that square look. Does that, that make sense? This is, a, this is a nice hat. I don't think I'm not gonna wear this one because like look, I mean I don't think it's ever been worn. So, and that's a K products hat. So we're going to, we're going to put that one right by the Tropicana right there, but I'm going to get these. I wanted to get these all organized, but I didn't want to get them or organized uh, before I did tonight's live. Cause I wanted, you know, again, also too, you know, your, your crazy vibrant colors, pick them up, pick them up, you know? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going through them. We're just looking at, we're just looking at the hats. You know, people, you know, it's, it's got a dog on it. People, people may, people may want that. We got that, that, that old Nike bucket hat. Okay. Look at that. So you find an old Nike tag like that, pick it up. That's, that's vintage Nike, vintage nineties, Nike. Now this isn't made in the USA, but this is made made in Taiwan. So, but again, you know, someone's gonna want that style hat. Uh, oh, let's see. We got a, oh, got a whole chunker down here that we can go through. I gotta clean up this one. This is a uh, look at that. That's a cool like digi camo, uh, San Antonio Spurs. Tim will like this. I got that old school bullets hat. Look at that. Old school bullets. That's some. Well. Oh, here's some. Here's here's some things I do well with, like Ocean City, Maryland. I've done a I've done a bunch of these. Uh, my Virginia Beach hats. I I usually do well on. Oh, man. oh here here we go. We got this one. This one's really cool. Top Gun, Dale Earnhardt, and Goodrich right there. So, you know, I mean, come on. Once I get this shaped up all nicely, again, I'll have the, I'll do the, I'll do the, the, the pot and pan one for this, not the balloon. But, uh, yeah, once I get this shaped up and looking good, it's got a nice vintage, it's got a, a nice, um, a nice fade to it. So this will this will definitely this will definitely sell uh pretty good. Snapback's good, made in the USA, it's got all the things. So yeah. All right. Andy said, My wife thought I was the only person who could never pass up a random hat. <laughs> right? Right? Oh, I got I got another uh Nebraska hat right here. Uh this 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 is a. Uh, Early, you know, your mid nineties, the game. That's that's what that is. Yeah, it's patina on there. You know what I'm saying? It's got that. It's got that nice, like, you know, distressed look. And I've got, I've got to reshape it. What's in here? I got Atlanta Braves. You know, oh, we got that old school Ricky Rudd tied. You know, I'm a, again. I'm not gonna do a lot of work. You know, fixing these up, but just enough. To where they look presentable. You know, they got the daggy pancake hat, but again, we'll fix these up. You know, it's got a crane on it. it again, people people buy that stuff. Um, you know, 
sometimes you can find like these, you know, I found this, you know, this, uh, this is the, uh, what is it? 2008 Yankees hat. I mean, doesn't look like it's ever been worn. And, uh, you know, I mean, this is a dollar. So, those game glued on logo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. What do I have? I have the Top Gun one here. I mean, even like blank stuff I buy. Even the blank stuff. You know? I mean, come on. Some dude's going to be like, yo, I'm rocking that. So, oh, this one just has the. The stuff I got at Goodwill, nothing, nothing to write home about. I did see, I did, I did find another Patron Cafe XO Cafe or Cafe uh, hats. Remember what I showed on Grail? I sold that for twenty bucks. So, uh, I mean, but I mean that's that's hats, man. That's hats. So, all right. I'm going to take some of y'all's questions and I'm going to kind of get out of here. Um, let's see. The trucker hat has mesh in the back. Yes. Yeah. You're, you're now the thing is I will call multiple things trucker hats. Okay. Just, just because people look up trucker hats, I will call, I will call this a trucker hat. Okay even though it doesn't have the mesh. Okay. But since this has the mesh, I, you know, definitely call it a trucker hat. So, uh, oops, I thought you asked what was a trucker hat. Oh, oh well, I, I, I'm, I'm, well, maybe some people want to know and they didn't want to ask, but yeah, like anything that has that kind of like that, that square ish, that, that square ish. So that, you know, anything that has that, like the, the, kind of 90 degree degree angle looking hat i'll call a trucker hat you know if it has the mesh it's a trucker hat um now let's see where was i going with that <laughs> damn it oh, oh now now hats like these okay see like hats like these these are called like slouch hats or what they call dad hats now. So it'll be called a slouch or a dad hat. Um, and that's something that um, when you're doing on grailed, let me let me let me show you some stuff on grailed. When you're doing on grailed, you're gonna want to do like here, I'll show you right here. When you want to do your designers. Let me, let me pop it up here. When you when you do your designers on Grailed, okay? So up here, right here, see my... Up here, when you make your listing, it's going to ask you for what, you know, what it is. So you're going to go to like accessories and then hats. And then right below that, it's going to have designers. And you can put up to three designers in Grailed. So I always put vintage... Usually I'll do a trucker hat and then I'll kind of do like the brand or what it, what it's about. So if it's like this, it'll be like PGA golf or like this would be NASCAR or like if it's got a, if it's, if it's a brand that people know about, you just got to play around with it. If anybody wants to look at kind of how I do, like how I label my stuff and you want to go look at my store, all the info for my Grailed, I have over 500 items in my Grailed store right now. Hats, shirts, all that stuff. If you have any kind of questions about what you should be putting in, like the designers, look at look at my store. It's all in. It's all all that information's there. Okay, um, and you can. I don't care. You can rip off exactly what I say. You know, in my listing. Okay, and you can see exactly how I how I do my listing, what size the condition, everything. Okay. So, um, and you can even take a look at my pictures, how I do my pictures. Okay. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. You can see how I do my pictures. Usually I do, I do a, I do a, uh, 45 degree angle. I'll do the front. 
I'll do the side. I'll show the snapback and the band. Okay, because it shows snapback and the, the cleanliness of the band. And then I will show the tag. All right. And the great thing about it is with these hats, just be honest. If it's worn, let them know it's worn. Take a picture of it. Let, let, let them know, you know, give them the heads up. The worst thing is you can do is, you know, try to deceive someone and, you know, them not, you know, them, them be pissed off once they get a grimy hat from you. All right, let's see. <laughs> yes, Tim, see, you can use, yeah, you can use three designers. What about the long bills? What do you call those? Long bills, like what? I don't know, uh, Jody, I don't really know on the whole, like, thing. Yeah, Tracy, <laughs> you can look. Yeah, yeah, I can do my listings for you. Put that link back. Oh, you want a short story? All right, we can we can nightcap this. Uh, like a bill that looks on a cat that looks longer than normal. Dude, what you just said? A long bill. You know, long bill trucker hat, long bill baseball hat. Uh, pretty simple, you know. <coughs> All right, to end out the night, we're going to have Krillin to come in here and maybe tell a short story. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I, I got a little bit of my uptime left. I'm going to take that and drink that. <clears throat> yeah, Krillin can come on, let us know what's going on. But yeah, I got to see like this. Like this hat, I'll, I'll, va I'll, I'll vacuum it out. Do it. Oh yeah, Dude, I, I don't know. Yeah, look at like again. Like I said, I'm not the expert. I have to look stuff up. My girl Stacy in Texas helped me out with like, I had like this trapper hat thing. I didn't even know what it was called. And she's like, oh, it's called a trapper hat. Yeah, there we go. Long bill. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thanks, my. Oh, I got. I haven't even checked. Oh, I got. I got. Oh man, I got people firing off stuff. Everywhere on my stuff. Oh man, I bet you, I bet you, I'm selling on Grailed. I bet you, I'm selling on. Maybe not. Poshmark. People, people sending me offers. Paid now. Ship this. Oh man. All right, good. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ken's got that blank, uh, one. There's Krillin. He wants to talk. All right, Krillin, jump on here so I can take a How little break. Krillin, what's up? What's going on? Oh, man, I'm living my life. Good, man. <laughs> living the life? Yeah, dude, I'm surrounded by hats, bro. Did you see this? Look at my hat stack. Let me ask you a question. Why don't you just open up a site that just sells hats? I was thinking I'm... of doing that for, like, an Etsy. Well, here's what I was thinking of, too. Is um, did you ever see? I'm trying to think. There was a website. It was like, uh, I was gonna say it was like um, a third party site for concert T-shirts. It was called like uh, defunct or something like that. You know which one I was talking about? No. Anyway, I I, I think I think the website is now defunct. <laughs> 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 Somebody in the chat can mention it. Right. Anyway, if you have a ton of hats and you create your like you know like you use you can get like those template websites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was dude, I've been thinking about that. Yeah, and and just put hats, and then what you do is, if you want to build it up, you just you could bring in your own. I got I get comfy over here. <laughs> uh, bring in, um your own third party sellers, but you know, only people that, you know, obviously, you know, um, and just have them make the pictures, like how you use them. So you're like, Oh, make the pictures this way. And then, you know, because I think a lot of people like it. And then if you just use like those sites, like Instagram, whatever, just to 
just to uh, draw traffic. Just do to like that a site. Shopify store, like a Shopify store. I've been thinking about doing a shop Shopify store. Just what exactly is shop? Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know exactly what I've heard of shop. You know what I'm saying? It's a build because I was going to do that with neckties because I can get neckties really cheap. And I was and the thing is this: when you put neckties, I, let me let me I'll tell you the whole story. All right, Down. neckties. You can a lot of times you get them real cheap, right? And a lot of times they'll sell. And a lot of times you'll look and you're like, wait a second, how come mine didn't sell, but the other guy sold? Even if you have similar photos, you know, yeah. not like, I mean, of course, obviously better photos generally means better results, but not always. Um, but it's just because if you put in like Brooks Brothers tie or Ralph Lauren tie, it'd be, there's a million listings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you have a site that's just like, you know, Thai uh, town or something like that. And then people just go there. You, you know what I mean? You, you just get people just go flipping through th like you're your own site. Yeah. 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 And then you spend money that you would spend in fees to promote it on Instagram or yep. whatever site, yep. you know, just to like, just to, and anybody, cause I was listening the other night. He, he was, we were talking for a long time. I think you were in the chat when uh, Tim was talking about he does the Instagram uh, advertising. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. You can like advertise to people who have that, um, to people who save the Hash hashtag. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you have neckties or whatever it is, you can get, you know, I mean, obviously he knows much. But I was, you know, obviously, you know, he started talking about glass and all this stuff. I mean, he could talk for hours about yeah. everything we know, obviously. Um, so that's what I was saying. I was like, oh, you know, that's a good idea. I was like, oh, I was going to, you know, just get like neckties and just boom. Like you said, but like now Shopify, how does that work exactly? I, I mean, that's, that, that's just like build, you're building your own website and you use their shopping cart type stuff, you know? Okay. So, but they give yeah. you a template. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, yeah you have let me tell you, I got news for you. You know, what's funny because. You know, I'm not trying to get political, or whatever it is, but you know, people kind of like you hear like some pundits, whatever it is, on TV, radio, whatever it is. They talk about like people learning how to code. You heard like, uh, people, yeah, yeah. It, it it's not so easy. It's not just like building a website from like code, like from language, computer language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's brutal. It's not easy. Yeah, it, yeah, and you know, it's funny because it's funny because I. I had to take a class when I went back to college and I had one guy who he had, he helped me get through it. You know, he, you know, I, I gave him some money on the side cause we had to like build like a web page, whatever, but just something very, you know, obviously very uh, simple, whatever, whatever. Anyway. So, but this one guy who was a younger guy, but he was like, boom, 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 one, two, three. So I gave him some scratch and we went into the, to the uh you know the, the library because me forget about it i, I wouldn't be able to get through it <laughs> right <laughs> but even though me and the professor became like best friends but anyway that's another story uh so i told him i says how come you don't do this like i mean you're good at this why are you doing it? he says look the harder you get because it's like when you know when you when you can't speak another language and you know somebody who could speak you could say mm -hmm. like 10 phrases in a language yeah. you're like wow that guy is good at spanish you know yeah, but he's like, once you get a little more difficult, it's he's like, it's brutal. And, uh, you know, that's why there's a lot of people who just come from other countries to do it, because it's like you sit in front of the computer and it's like, you know, it ain't easy. Yeah. But the, the Shopify stuff now they have they have all the templates and everything like that. So you're just yeah. you're just dropping the pictures in right in your description, <laughs> how much you want to buy it for. And boom, done. It's It's all done for you. Yeah. But then, but the webs. But now, is there a site that says Shopify.com, and that customer goes to that site, or you yeah. have your own website you have, name? You have your own website name and everything like that. So you a dot com or some kind of dot biz bullshit? Uh, no, it's a, no. You usually have a dot com. Yeah. Yeah. Not you know because I knew some guy. He had to get use some kind of dot biz. I said, "What are you doing with this dot?" Yeah, biz? yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, you you get a dot com and you pay you know pay those. You know those fees, just I mean, yeah, that's but, cheap. The hosting you, fees are not much twenty five dollars yeah, a year or some bullshit. But you use, but you you have to use your money 
to promote it instead of you know having it on a on a bigger website you know yeah of course because nobody's gonna know uh you know uh turnox freaking yeah you know, caps yeah, you know, yeah. Or whatever it is or you know but think about it. It, it if you if you like you said if you have an easy source that you could constantly like that you can constantly get vintage hats and you know you say you already know people who, you know people are they're hip to them they like them uh-huh and just boom boom because i think what ha- i think one of the things is on ebay we you know we get this discussion all the time i think there's just too many items it's too much yeah yeah and especially yeah. now that you say hats it's like it's mm-hmm. like more you know like tr- trucker chernox yeah you yeah know, uh Badass hats or something like that, or you you know, and you could put you know, like just like. Did you see my Nebraska Joe? <laughs> Nebraska. My, my, you have a Nebraska hat somewhere in your, in your store. Your oh, store. you're right. I do. Ha- you know, it's funny you say that. I do have that. I, I know. have that Nebraska. Yeah. But you know what I did was I put it on auction, and I says, you know what? Because I saw one sold for one fifty, so I copied his listing. You know. At that, you know, verbatim, you know, I just like, you know, just so similar. And uh, I put it for auction. I was like, you know, let me put it 150 auction. Now, I mean, 190, I put 99, 99 auction, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a couple of uh, watchers. I said, like, let me give it another shot. So then now I got a couple more watchers. So we'll see if, you know, then, then I'll, I'll, that's what I usually try to do. I try to go there and then I'll do, and then I'll change it to a buy it now. But the other hat I put, Nine ninety nine dollars ninety five cents, no reserve. I put that uh the Babe Ruths that signed Babe Ruth hat. Yeah, yeah. And again, I guess nobody's interested. Yeah, see, as that again, like I said, yeah, you know, like you said, there, you know, there's so many different things on eBay. There, it's so there's so much of it. You know, again, having your own website that you know, and that's something that I've thought about. That I, I definitely, you know, Tommy and I were even talking about that. It's something that, you know, I want to get, you know, into because, like, it, again, the hats are the, – the pictures are easy to take, take, you know what I'm saying? So it's like boom, boom, and you can just yeah, have – Yeah, like, you guys do really good pictures, so – and yeah. you guys are very good with the pictures. Now, you could – with that – now, what's what's that Wix, W-I-X? Yeah, that's, that, that, that's, a, that's another, like, website building. Same bullshit. Yeah, same thing, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're, I was trying to explain it to somebody. I was trying to explain it to somebody, and they were like, uh, "They didn't know what the what I was talking about." It, I says, "You it, see the commercials." It's just a template. It's just a it's a website template. You uh-huh. know, yeah, so yeah. You, you just plug in your pictures, and it just makes it look good. You know, it makes yeah. you don't you don't you don't have to do all the coding. All the coding is done for you. Yeah, all that. Yeah, all the stuff you don't want to do. Exactly. That, because exactly. that's work. Because look, it's hard enough. Go get the merch. Bring it home. Prep it. Uh-huh. Blah, 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 you know, and then it's like, and then you get home and it's like, all right, now I got to take the pictures. And then I'm gonna, it's like, it's hard to do all that work. Yeah. And to have to like build or pay somebody to build a website. Yeah. Forget no, it. No, no way. And that's, that, that's something. Yeah. That's something that I've been thinking down the road where I can, once I get someone that I can. Yeah. Then that. Yeah, Tim's right. You, you you gotta you gotta, and that's the thing. You gotta start build. You gotta build traffic. You know, basically selling on platforms. Yeah, you're paying for automatic traffic. But yeah, you know, it's it's something that you know, you know. I I know a lot of people have gone the other way, and it's like you know what, I'm just gonna fill it up with, you know, ads on Facebook and ads on yeah. and Instagram. ads on Instagram instead of paying your your eBay fees. That's that's what you you know your hat store would go to is is promoting it you know yeah. and just build it and building the fall and yeah oh yeah it's, it's definitely harder and that's why i think a lot of people have gone the ebay grailed option but you know who you know I think it, just it, like that way you know, so to where to where i think i have enough stock that a website would maybe be you know something to do and, but now, and also, can you? I don't know. In those sites, can you? You can break it into categories, like yeah, you can break it, yeah, like sports hats. Yep, yep. Uh, 
rock views, you know. Yeah. Lotus yeah. Leash. Yeah, your trucker hats, your, you know, and you can break it down by, and I, I've seen it, you know, people break it down by color. So it's like, yo, I want a blue trucker hat. Boom. I can find all the blue trucker hats on the, on the one, you know, on that one side. Well, you want to go by genre, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. So when somebody searches, they're going to see, you know, like, oh, uh, like, you know, like I said, uh, yeah. whatever, the, you know what I mean? Wait, wait, yeah. is that you and me? Why is it all that? Re, uh, reverb. Where the fuck is it? I don't, I don't hear any. Let's see. Well, oh, I got, an, dude, it's funny you, you came across all those Nebraska hats because I, I came across, look at that, that double double. Wow. And these are, those are the game ones. Yeah, that was, I remember the, that was 90s. Yeah, that's definitely, yeah, definitely 90s. So mid 90s. I remember somebody had those game hats. Yeah, these are, these are all from that. 1994, 1995, you know, but I mean, yeah, I just, I just haven't, I got, I got to get someone in here to do, I mean, and, and I'm working on it right now. I, I've got to get someone in here to, uh, to definitely, uh, definitely help out just take, taking pictures and stuff like that. But yeah. you haven't, you don't have a job, do you? No, I'm full time. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So. It was so funny because I was telling the story last night. I don't know if, who the hell's channel. I don't even know. Maybe Tommy's channel. I don't even remember. It's that uh, I was going to take a job with the est- one of the estate sale companies. You know, everybody was telling me. Like, you know how you say to people, look, take a job at a thrift store part-time. Because people, people are always like, oh, how do I get the merchandise? Like, well, if yeah, you work right. there, then you could be there when the merch comes in. Yeah, exactly. So, so the one lady... The one I, you know, this lady Leslie that I talked about. Yeah. So she she asked me. She's like, on I saw her on Saturday. She's like, oh, you want to make three hundred dollars tomorrow? So I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? You know. She's like, oh, I need you to drive me to Washington D.C. I was like, fuck, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> I don't want to drive. She's like, oh, don't worry, I'll pay for the uh, you know, gas tolls and lunch and stuff. I I I had a you know obviously did I have anything like could I have done it I mean I probably should have done it throwing three hundred bucks in my pocket yeah even though my father's family was in town so uh, you know they're nice people my father's cousin and his daughter so I wanted we went out for dinner so I mean once in a while it's nice to go out with some family you know because I don't really have much family so and they live out of state they happen to be in the area of doing something whatever it was so she's asking me. And she always lets me preview, and that's what's good because it's always hard. The state sale companies, they don't let you preview, but this woman, she loves me. So if I could ever do favors for her, like we, I went to one sale that was, you know, an hour away from the house where we live, and uh, she's like, oh, my car is too packed. Can you throw this in your car to drive it home? I was like, fine. I still – I got the bag in my truck, in my trunk. I still don't know what the hell she gave me to bring back home from upstate New York. <laughs> she's like yeah i'm like look you want to give me a discount you know also you know she's hooking me up with other stuff so i was like i don't care i'll just throw another bag in my trunk i don't care. now i got this bag that i'm so curious what the hell is in there i, I think she was bad. freaking robbing some stuff from the sale she's like <laughs> oh just throw this bag. she's like just throw this bag in your truck you know take because i had like Four large garbage bags full of clothes. She's like, "Oh, just throw, take this other bag with you." I'm like, All right. Yeah, I'm, I, I want to hit up. Uh, we're, we're gonna be hitting up on. Like, I don't know if you heard it. I'm I'm going down to. I'm gonna be in Texas, in the Austin area on Saturday. Mm-hmm. I, I got a wedding to go to, so we're gonna. I'm I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be looking for some, some Texas vintage gold down there. <laughs> You're driving down there? No, no I'm flying. But uh, yeah, I'll say that's a nice road trip. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm only gonna be there. My, my brother and I are gonna go uh, thrifting like on Saturday for a little bit. Can you can you drive? I mean, how, how the hell would you? You could yeah. You could oh, it takes forever right? to drive. Yeah, because there's no road that goes down that way. Well, I mean, they, all roads lead somewhere, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, you, of course, there's oh, there's a road to you could drive anywhere. You could drive to uh, to Chile. You could take the Pan American. Uh, Highway, whatever it is, but I'm saying there's no like direct south road from where you are. No, it, you would, know. it would 
it would take two it would take two days to get down get down there. So Yeah. Yeah, that's four. Yeah, that's Tracy, four. if you if you wanna I'm I'm gonna be on in Austin on Saturday. Saturday, like Saturday, we're gonna be in Austin. If you if you wanna come with us or meet us somewhere, I'm down. <laughs> I, I, I'm only gonna be that. I'm only gonna be out in that area on Saturday because I gotta do family stuff on Sunday, and then I'm going on Sunday night. Sunday night, I'm coming back. So, how much are those plane tickets? I don't know. My mom bought it. <laughs> hey, nice. Because <laughs> she, she's like, I want. Because my aunt's getting my my aunt's getting married. Re, or she's getting remarried. Okay. So they want me to come down there, and uh, and be like, you know, kind of surprise her, be, be to be okay. down there. So she, I was like, she said, my mom just said, hey, I want you down here. I'm, I'm gonna buy your plane ticket. I want you down here. Figure out how you know what when you can come down here. And I'm like, all right, done. So, so you go by yourself? Yeah, I'm gonna go by. Yeah, I'm gonna go by myself. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, good. and then the 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 weddings at like 10 a.m. in the morning on Saturday. What they're Was doing? They're just wedding? doing some kind of weird. You know, I don't know. And then, uh... <laughs> yeah, probably because when the regular weddings start at you know they're old, they're, they're, dude. They're like they're like she's in her 60s or something like that. So they're having like a little marriage ceremony or whatever. And then we're gonna roll out and 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 go to Austin. It's like it's only like an hour away from Austin. So yeah, we've and already. How far is Austin from Houston? It's far, right? No, it's like an hour, hour and a half, or maybe hour, hour and a half. hour and forty five minutes, I think. So, yeah. But that's where you're originally from is is Houston. Well, I'm I'm from like south of Houston, like between like Houston. Oh yeah, like, you were saying how do you go south of Houston? Is the ocean? Uh, southwest, southwest. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> South New Mexico. West. We talk about Brownsville. That's what we no, talk about, right? Brownsville's too far. Oh. You've, gone, you've gone six hours too far. Oh, real? Oh, Brown. Yeah, it's on the border, of Brownsville. That's where everybody, you know. That's yeah. where they jump the, the fences in Brownsville. Yeah, no, they, it's between Houston and Corpus Christi, basically. Okay. I don't know Texas, no. man. I, I wouldn't know <laughs> Texas. I, yeah. I, I mean, I know the names of the cities, and I, and I know, you know. The, you know, I know how I know they're big cities. I know Houston is like the third or fourth largest city in America. Yeah, pretty big. I know. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be going up through. Let's see, Tracy. We're gonna be going. It's we're basically be in Schulenburg, Texas, and then we're gonna go up through Lagrange, and then Bastrop, I think, and then to Austin. I think so. I think that's where we're going. So. Tracy will know. It. No one else will know what I'm talking about. Tracy will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, is it t- how many? The, how many people? What do they have? Like 30, 40 million people living in Texas. Uh, dude, it's huge, man. It's I don't know. I don't know, man. It's huge. Yeah. Oh man, Tracy said our thrift price is gonna freak you, freak your ass out. <laughs> yeah. 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 Houston, you've never seen like Houston size, bro. Houston is like massive. Yeah, no, I know Houston's big. It's crazy. It's crazy. I think it's there's like three million people in Houston. Yeah, yeah. It's a big. Oh. It's a big town. Three. It's like three, four million people, something like that. These were some. Good, <laughs> these were some good scores today. These these rusty Wallace hats. Yeah. See, so you you got to do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep busting your balls till you make that Shopify store. <laughs> I think you re- no. I, I think you really should do it, and then a- after you get good, then do third party sellers. You know, right? I mean, because if you build up enough traffic after a while, I mean, you, if if you have a, what do you think? You have two hundred hats? Yeah, you could throw it on there. At least, bro. I think I have yeah. close to like five hundred. Yeah, so that's yeah. enough. Vintage hats, something. Yeah. Let's come up with a name. Get somebody to come up with a name. All right, cool. Bastrop has a few honey holes. Nice. All right, cool. Yeah, it's, I, uh, it's a place in uh, pa- I passed up racing hats tonight. Jung girl, it sometimes racing hats are hit and miss. Your newer stuff, you're not gonna. It's so mass produced, you may not get 
good pricing on it and, and it's it's oversaturated but your older stuff i've done i've done way better with older stuff like like a rusty wallace you know what i'm saying like a rusty wallace mgd hat you know you rather than a, rather than a dale earnhardt jr or like you know what i'm saying something something that's been yeah i passed up racing hats tonight too i, I was like yeah I'm not, i don't want any of those i don't i don't want i don't want to mess with those so dick trickle <laughs> that's what tommy put in the chat so yeah so i'm gonna be doing that on saturday i think I'm, yeah i think i'm gonna take a, i think i'm gonna take who, who said that i think it was that thrift beast was still in here who said that yeah thrift beast i'm gonna i'm gonna do some videos and stuff like that you know so back in the I got they gotta find me a kalachi factory too. Now we we have kalachis and you don't know what a kalachi is, do you, Krillin? Kalachi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the I, hell is a kalachi? Kalachi is like the best. Like, uh, there, there's different kalachis. It's a it's a it's a Czech pastry. So. Oh, Czech, Czech, Czechoslovakia. Yeah, yeah. They got them down in Texas. It's it's. it's I didn't know there was that many. Czechoslovakians living in Texas. Oh yeah, they yeah, down down in that Houston like like that 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 south central Texas area. There's a okay, there's Galveston. A big, huh? Now where's Galveston? Galveston is is Galveston's very close to where I grew up. Yeah, it's like okay. Galveston's like 30 minutes away from where I grew up. But it, Galveston is an island, it's not Yeah, Galveston Island, yeah. The whole th the whole thing is an island. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kind of like, like all right. Well, I'm trying to think, what city is an island? The whole town. <laughs> is it? Is Galveston? Is that? Is that? Is it big or? They no, it's small. Galveston's small. No, okay. it's it's it's, and it's like it's like the beaches there are like different. They they're not the beaches in like some of the beaches like on the you know by the Houston area. It's very yeah. like muddy water and it, the, the beaches aren't like super nice they're nice oh, but in galveston they're not that nice yeah see my brother said gonna hit them ham and cheese breakfast and the breakfast rolls there's a dude there's this place down like where i grew up okay mm -hmm. and they have different breakfast items than like anywhere in the country and it's simple <laughs> stuff too it's like it's like ham and cheese. It's like like just ham and like cheese inside baked inside of a roll. Okay. And then they have like Jimmy Dean sausage patties. Yeah. And like cheese baked into a like a roll. Oh, okay. It's next level. It's next level. I'm I'm telling you. Like And this is in in South South Texas. Yeah, I'm telling you what. Like But now Texas is a lot now West Texas that's like the like uh, West Texas, like, like El Paso and all that stuff. That's, yeah. that's a totally different country. Yeah, that's like the um, that's where like the ranchers are and everything. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you got ranches everywhere in Texas, but oh, really, and like you know, like the 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 North Pan, like the Panhandle, you know, in the in the North, and it's it's all it's all different. It's uh -huh. Texas, Texas. Now, Texas could be like six different states, bro. Yeah, but now you said you were a wrestling fan. Uh, growing up, we watched we watched a lot of wrestling. So where was that place? They they talk. It's like a, fan, a famous. I think probably tore it down by now. That Sportatorium. I don't know what is that. Really, I'm surprised. World class. You know, you remember Kerry Von Erich? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, where was that? My no. Uh, I'm sure somebody in the chat, you know, the that's where, like Stone Cold Steve Austin got my start at the Sportatorium. I broke into the business. <laughs> I I don't know. I gotta I gotta. I can't think of it right now. And then they all died of drug overdoses. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's what happens, you know. In the eight, that was the eighties, man. Oh yeah. A lot of oh, drugs. Yeah. Oh. But I'm gonna I'm gonna get all these hats organized. The last thing I, I was gonna talk about these hats, it's organization is key. So if you get if you get like 
if you get like shoe boxes or like boxes that are like a shoe box style and you cut off the end, you can stuff the hats in there and put like 10 or 12 in there and then stack them up. Ah, smart. So, so what I, so what I do is like, I'll take it and I'll put like a little tag on each one. And it'll, it'll be a number system. And so my well, my number system through eBay, my SKU number, I'll put like box number one. And I'll have 12 hats in it. So uh, every, all 12 hats will just say box number one. So when I sell a hat, the SKU will come up. You know, and, box. I, and I just pull that box. Pull. I, I have to pull the, all the hats out anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, oh, there's the hat. Boom, done. So Yeah, you don't want to mess up your Shopify store. No, nah, right? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so we're, gonna, we're gonna we're gonna be doing yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. All right, so okay, that that was in Dallas. They they said that was in Dallas, the wrestling place, the sportatorium. The okay. sportatorium. Now, see the thing is, again, from we where I grew up at, Dallas is like six to seven hours away driving. Wow, that's how big Texas. Okay, think about how that's how big Texas is, bro. Okay. Wow. So, like, again, you know, the Dallas-Fort Worth area, that North Texas, yeah. I don't have a good recollection of all that stuff because we never we never really went up there. there. Yeah. I, I've never been to Amarillo or anything like that because that's so far. So. And then uh, Oklahoma. Well, we yeah, I've been, I, I've been to Oklahoma. We, we used to go to Oklahoma a long time ago. Maybe – I'll t- I'll, maybe I'll tell a story about the Oklahoma City Zoo. Another oh God. Night. <laughs> That's a good story. My brother knows that story well. The Oklahoma City Zoo with the gorillas. Oh, I don't God. <laughs> I might I might have to have a few drinks in me to tell that story. That was a good one. All so, right, I gotta, I'm going to jump out. I got to get right, some listeners yeah, I think done. I'm gonna, and then- I think I'm going to shut it down. I'm tired. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta volunteer at the thrift shop in the morning. So you know, I gotta get, get ready. You gotta pick, pick some. Yeah, tomorrow I, there was I went to a Digger Estate sale on Saturday. My friend Vinny, he was running the sale, and I bought. I was telling, uh, I don't know who the hell I was telling. I bought like fifteen Ralph Lauren jackets, but like blazer jackets, yeah, not yeah. like. You know. And the, they had even more of them. But the guy had them, I mean, brand new with the tags. I don't know why this guy never wore these jackets, but the guy had even more, but he had a bunch of them that were altered. And the guy had like, that's one thing about selling suits. That's what, you know, you kind of have to be careful. Sometimes you have, you find guys that have alligator arms. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that, and it, once you get out, once you get a suit with alligator arms, it's, literally impossible to sell you have to oh, like literally yeah. sell for half price oh yeah i bet because you never find somebody who could fit somebody with like a 22 23 inch sleeve oh average person 34 35 inch 32 Dang. it's like a tw- yeah. 22 inch sleeve bro <laughs> yeah from there to you know 20 yeah, yeah yeah that's crazy yeah, it's it's really short. So, <laughs> and that's what happened. I tried one of the jackets on myself just to, just to, I knew it was short. I mean, I didn't bring a tape measure with me, but then I, I was just like, literally, I was like, and and I don't have super long arms. I have just yeah. regular arms, and it was like <laughs> like like a three quarter sleeve, bro. <laughs> yeah, it was like my forearms, and I'm like, because I because I had grabbed a whole bunch, you know, because when you're at the estate sale, and it was. It was a line to get in. I mean, it was, it was a yeah, yeah. house. And there was people waiting outside, like, oh, trying to, get, trying to get. So I'm trying to make my piles and everything. And people, of course, you make. This is why, you know, estate sales, you make a pile. And the first thing people do is go through your pile. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because I'm because there's shit all over the bed, the closet. I'm pulling them out of the closet and making, making piles. Boom, 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 making a pile. And then people are, like, going through it. Luckily, I had a friend who was like a cop. I'm like, do me a favor. Can you just like watch these pile? Because I was trying to negotiate with the pile in the bed. Like that was a tricky part is that the woman who does the pricing for the clothes, she's behind. She sits behind like a table. And that was like five room, three rooms away in the living room. 
<laughs> and it was packed, and I, and I couldn't bring everything. That, you know, I didn't want to bring up like 15 jackets, and then she gives me a high price, and then I'm like, fuck. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know. <laughs> so I'm going to peace out. But tomorrow, oh, quick. So the guy, he texted me today, the guy who was running the sale. My friend, He's a friend friendly with the guy, Vinny. He's like, look, they're doing the clean out tomorrow. They have a clean out company. I don't know why he don't do it. But they have they hire a company to do clean out. And he's like, you know, if you want to buy other clothes, you want to buy them cheap, the guy's going to be there tomorrow. You can buy them directly from him. Even though the, the the ones that were, you know, with the short, you know, like if they're if they're like five bucks a pop, then I'll pick them up. Yeah. You know, you never know, you know, because the jackets are like three hundred something, three, three fifty each brand new. So if they're like five bucks that, you know, then even though not? he might be like some there's a three hundred dollar jacket, you know, but. I'll, and, you know, if you know, I'm just gonna drive there. Actually, the, it's, it's the right, right, right across. I don't know. Well, you said you're a hockey fan, right? So yeah, yeah. it's right across the street from where they're building the um, the new stadium for the Islanders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. I think we we're talking about this. Is the they have the um, the Belmont Racetrack. Yeah, and in, in the parking, parking lot, they're lot, building yeah. that. And this house is like right a couple blocks away from there. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, so I'm gonna head over there. So, I'll talk to you later, brother. All right, peace out, Krillin. Peace. All right, we're going to end this up. We're almost at three hours. Oh, man, we took three, hour, three hours talking about hats, little Krillin intermission, gave me a little break. So, just to kind of round everything, about, round everything out, the hats I showed tonight, you don't want, you know, a lot of this stuff, a lot of people pass up. But, again, I showed you, these things sell. Okay, these these hats sell all different styles. Um, you know, looking for the old. I showed a lot of tags. I showed a lot of like, you know, the mesh, you know, where to find, you know, all this stuff to look for. So definitely take take all that information that you've kind of gathered tonight. And next time you're out, you don't have to go crazy. But next time you're out and you see something that's interesting and if you get them cheap enough, remember, you want to stay in between that. You know, free to two dollar range. Okay, anything over that, you know, unless it's something that you're gonna get top dollar for, and you know you've done your research, you know, then you can spend a little bit more. But you know, try to buy them cheap enough, and people will let these things go cheap enough. Um, if you have any questions, all that information is down in the uh, the description, and also all that information is you know my grailed store and my depop store and so you can like take a look at all that stuff so i want to thank everyone for coming in andy appreciate you coming in um if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel um we've done hats i've done shirts i may do a shoe uh little shoe uh i got i got shoes for days back there that maybe we can go through and uh I can do a brief stream about that. So Tommy, Tommy's still here. Thank you. Chad was sticking around asking me if I sold any tanks. Not yet, but we're, I, I am going to be selling some of those. My brother, Michael. Thank you. Uh, Corey. Thanks for stopping by junk girl. Tim, definitely Tim. And I still got to uh, hook up and, you know, go thrifting together. Uh, Thrift beast. Thank you. Jody, Jeff, Deep Fried Deals, all, you know, Lobster popped in, Ansley popped in, a couple Pickers popped in, actually. Mel, Mel's, Mel's going to be looking for these daggy hats. So the last thing we're going to do is say, look, we're going to go from daggy, all right, from daggy to swaggy all right daggy to swaggy that's going to be the new uh the new term of what we're doing with hats from daggy to swaggy i will see y'all again uh at another time maybe we'll do shoes next time maybe we'll have another late night chat upstairs in the dining room who knows so i will uh talk to y'all later over the years tim peace out he had his first sale on grail congratulations you got 499 more to get that 500 mark like I got, but it's going to take a year. It's going to take some hard work, and uh, I'll talk to you all later. All right. See you all later.